Right. Good evening. Let me know if you can hear me all right. I'm on stream elements for the first time, so I just want to make sure I've got things bob on. So let me know that in the chat that you can hear me all right. I'm going into it a, not a little bit blind, but a tad blind. So if you can hear me, fan dabby dozy, let me know. Loud and clear, love it. Here we go. I don't know if, uh, Dave, I don't know if your um, technical skills are as bad as mine. In nice and early, hey Lewis, in nice and early for the last stream of FM20. Well, it'll probably be the last Sunday night stream, but I'm aiming just to do a little bit of, I'm, during the day, which I know everyone's at work, but I might just spark the game up. Not this one, but I might spark York City up or even Arsenal at some point. But yeah, the last the last proper one. We've got some games to get in. We've got about 12. <laughs> we've got at least 12. What have we got? 12, 14. I've got about 20 games to get in, I think. So I need to crack on. But we'll see. Hopefully we'll have a Champions League run. What team are you choosing for non-league to Premier League? I'm not doing it again this year, Ben. I'll have a year off, a year off non-league to Premier League. Yeah, I don't think I'll plan them. I might put them in the Discord or something. Like this. I might say, look, I'm going live. I'm going to play some games. Come and, come and hang out while I'm playing kind of thing. Just stream a little bit more. Regularly. So I'm using stream elements for the first time, which is basically purely so I can get the revolving thing at the bottom of the screen. Because I didn't like it before. It was There was too much stuff on the bottom of the screen. With the latest subscriber, latest super chat, latest tipper and all that. And then the Patreon stuff. So this just condenses it up a little bit. Only out Thursday and during the week. Ah, right, well, it'll be more likely a, m a Monday, I'm thinking. Depending on how far I've got to go in saves and stuff. Evening, Matty. Evening, guys. I wanted to... <laughs> how you doing, Jess? How you doing? I've played a couple of... I've played a couple of games today. So I've, I'll agree. <laughs> There's our form. We've not lost since Chelsea in October. So we're going pretty well. I racked up a th two, uh, three 4 nil victories this morning. <laughs> so quality's all okay, boys. We're doing... There's no... Bu no Buffering or out like that. Cause I've changed the settings on the OBS tonight, so <gasps> and I never get a chance to try anything out. Right, we're diving straight in to the big one. PSG first leg at home. We got a lead last year. What was the lead last year? We won one, they won one. Did we go 2 nil up? I think we went 2 nil up. Oh, we won the first leg 3-1, then we lost 3 nil, didn't we? We were already heading out at 2 nil. Hopefully, Jess. Hopefully, going into the um, going into the unknown a little bit with the uh, Sochi one, but it'll be good. It'll be good, right? Let me just. I need to just focus just that little bit. 
Right, I think the team kind of picks itself, to be honest. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I hadn't actually bought him. I actually only bought him this year, um, Luis. The, uh, sorry, um, Jess. The, the opportunity, um, the opportunity never came across for me to do it. Right. I think. I think. I think. I think. It's not gonna get any better than that. We're at full strength. Marucci's in decent form. Twenty-three. Goals for the 32 year old, 23 goals in 26 appearances. 20 of them starts. Parrot is picking up form. No, he isn't. One goal in 15. Fucking hell. Right, do we go gully then? No, we'll go with we'll go with Troy. Van der Schman, 22 in 33. He's no in 32. He's nowhere near on his film. Right, here we go. A way goal was key for them last time. Okay. They don't seem to have improved much. I think the team looks pretty much identical to what it was last year. And then second leg, we will we'll probably go with three in midfield. Probably regardless of what the result is, to be honest. Quiet, quiet, quiet. There we go, first highlight. PSG's. Hakimi. Oh, we've got three over there. They've played it round us. Richarlson a little bit too easily. Hakimi. Benassa. Akimi, assessing on good tackle. Still got it, Benasto, you dare, Paul. I was expecting a 30 yard screamer. Right, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Tackle with half. Is that the easiest goal that they'll ever score? He was a weird signing, but he's bloody scored. First fucking highlight. That was way too easy as well. Right, Bayez, come on, let's get straight back into it. Parrot! Get in! Keep your flag down, linesman. Well done. 1-1. One, one. They've got the away goal, though, so we need to get our noses in front. <laughs> right, average first half. Oh shit, it could be worse than average first half. Keeper's gone nowhere near. Are we going to break here? Marucci, who has he got there? Talisa to his right. Ila Vandersman to his left. Here he is. Oh, what did I hit the post? I think it hit the post, you know. What a chance before half time. We do want one for revenge. What a chance that was. Oh, it's flag. Flag's up. Thank fuck for that. God, I'm halfway through first class already. We've only been going five minutes. Come on. Big Nige, you should... Having a little bit of second season syndrome. I think he's probably missing Haaland a little bit. Because he was probably chief creator for him. Right, we're going to pause it. We're going to do a sub. I'm going to go Ishmael Gull on for Marucci. Put Parrot out to the right. Anything else? Anything else? Let's get Emerson on that right-hand side. Probably a little bit better, fingers crossed, defensively. 
I'll, I'll see the chat in a minute. I'm just just seeing this game out. It's going to leave it a, with a lot to do for the second leg, especially if we go down here. Busquets. Jesus. Pogba. It's got a lot of space to go into. They've got two over on this side. Neymar. It's found Martinez. Cuenca's. Oh, that's a terrible header, Cuenca. We've survived. We've survived. Neymar with it. No, free header. Blocked. Aye, aye, aye. Come on, we can't go. We can't go into the second leg. Down. Oh, they've hit the post. Jesus. I tell you what, the last year at the home leg as well, we absolutely battered them. And they've battered us. They've absolutely battered us. I think it's going to be a draw. I think the most disappointing thing is that we played shit. So I'm giving them bollocking. Hey, Elias is in. How are we doing? Come on, Fenner leading. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Uh, Pete's in as well. How are you doing, Pete? Hope you're well, buddy. And SM. Good evening, mate. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, right. That was a that was a poor performance. That Mirko, hope you've enjoyed your lunch, buddy. How are you doing? Just the first game. Look at look at Liverpool. Right, we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do in that tie. A little bit of time to ponder how I'm going to play it. Even though I'm on stream elements, my uh, stream lads is still going. Brilliant. I bet it was. Was that just like a f like a full pig that was on that plate? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit far to travel for a Sunday dinner, especially when my mum's five minutes down the road and she always cooks us a good uh, a good lunch. Bit of a meat and potato pie today. Chocolate brownie. Homemade ice cream. Why are they challenging us to a friendly? Oh, get in. Yeah, it looks good, mate. It looks good. Hey, Yishi's in. How are you doing, Ishan? I <laughs> said, I said. With the Fenerbahce colours. Did you? Yeah, I keep... Me and the missus was never keen on barbecues. And the couple that we've done last year. I think it's going to be a purchase next year. Have you got, just got a gas one? Have you just got a gas one just to... Um, easy to get it stoked up? Yeah, I think that's what I need to invest in next year. I think the missus will be all for it, to be honest. I've done some tremendous barbecues this year on the uh, disposables. <laughs> yeah, we've had some good ones. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm a bit fond of meat, Dave. So a barbecue is just... Right up my street. Right. Besiktas. Besiktas. Who are, are they on a little a little bit of an upturn? Yeah, they've done all right. So there's the league table, boys. We're six points clear. We've got 12 games to go. Ideally, I'd, I'd like the series to finish either by getting past PSG minimum or finishing the season undefeated. But the Champions League was the, was the big one. I think it's... Just helped us a little bit that we've managed to qualify. Um, qualify. We managed to win the Europa League a couple of seasons back. So at least it gives us a trophy.
Here we go, Baez. Tobedo. Oh, he might be offside. He looked offside. I think we're getting away with it, though. We have done. Good start. Only thing we see was the beers, yes. We've been on the wine today. The mum always, mum always stocks the fridge, fridge full of wine and beers when we go. What was on the barbecue? What did we have on it? Marucci. Van der Schman. He's gone wide, he's gone wide. Oh, he's done him nicely, that's a good save. Baby. Yeah, next year, Pete. Yeah, we'll get him round. You're not a million miles away from me, are you, Pete? We can, we can arrange that. Oh, ribeye steaks. Jesus. Barbecues are the only time I would tolerate a shit steak and kind of get away with it just because it has that barbecue taste. I'd have to have chicken on there, mate. I'd have to have some kind of chicken on there. But yeah, I'd love to get... Um, love to get... Gas barbecue next year, which I think we'll probably do because we've got a nice back garden, get sun all day, and uh, yeah, get a bit of chicken going. I've just get it all going, making me hungry because we haven't had tea tonight. Yeah, you're early an hour up road, Pete, aren't you? No problem. Any thought on the liver? Uh, yeah, it was quite funny, wasn't it? Ridiculous. See, I mean, it, it took the tarnish off a, what was a decent game of football. Oh, I don't need that in my life. A bit of a struggle to build. Oof. I've got... I've ordered four sets of goals. Not four sets. Four goals, two sets of goals for the pitches at work. And they're really nice. They have like the stanchions and then the back wooden bits to pull the net back. The cold stadium goals look class. They came in 27 boxes at the, on Friday. So I've got them to build. So I think that's already giving me sleepless nights thinking that I've got, got two weeks to get them built up. But I suppose most of it's going to come pretty much flat packed, isn't it? You only cooked it yourself, did you, Mirko? Get in. That must have been a big oven. <laughs> yeah, Louis. <laughs> yeah, there's been a few ins and outs on that, aren't there? I'm a bit ahead on there. What was the episode today? Was it the semi-final this morning? On the York City one. Quarters today. So, semis will be... Yeah, I think I've record. Yeah, I've recorded that already. Weird. Get ahead. Of, get ahead of myself. I've I've recorded. Did I? <laughs> yeah, but do you know why that is? That's because. Uh, that's because I've already played it and recorded it, and I've got ahead ahead of myself. If you know what I mean. I do that sometimes, because the games have been, because I'm not doing as many saves. Um, obviously, Depot's finished. I haven't done Fenerbahce this week. Um, it's given me the opportunity to play a shitload of York City. So I'd kind of got myself well ahead. No, no, no spoilers. No spoilers. Did we do the draw? Was the draw in the episode? I can't think if the draw for the semis was, was the draw for the semis in the episode. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought it was like a little piglet, uh, Mirko. Look good though, buddy. I think it was just because I'm hungry. It's um, Spurs. Yeah, I fucked up there a little bit. And I was adamant it was semi-final today. But most people would have seen it and knew that we got food at semi-final anyway. I just didn't want to give it away in case people hadn't watched it yet and wanted to watch it. Right, we're just breezing teams apart. Apart, away. Nigel's had a good performance there. That's good. That's good, I didn't mean to click that. Officer, if my um if my camera goes off, will you guys let me know? Because I've got it now linked to the Mrs. Sony camera with a cam link and I've had to do a, a little bit of a cheat thing on it to make sure it doesn't switch off. Um and I'm just Still expecting it to switch off or the battery to go flat. I don't know how long the battery will last. I've got my webcam still here anyway, so it's it's not a problem. But um, yeah, if it suddenly just switches off, let me know. I'm not. I can't charge it when it's plugged in. I think I can't charge it when it's on. If that makes sense, it needs to be off. But it's on full full battery, so I'm hoping it should last a good three hours. Because I think we're going to be well. You lot might not be, but. I'll be here because I need to finish this save. I might do a, I'll probably do a recap video at the end of the season or something for next week. Thank you, sir. Do you get far ahead then, Dave, when you're doing your videos? How far do you get ahead? Do you get ahead regularly? Because I, I don't. But then, like, round the York City one, I've just, because I've had more time, and between, like, the quarter-final episode that went out today and the semi-final one, there was only about six games. And normally I'm trying to do about 12, 15 in between, in between. So I managed to get two recordings in in sort of, like, one session. Which, for FM21, I need to do because um, the special one is going to be three times a week and bask is just going to be once a week. Look, the Fenerbahce boys are in. Burjan. Good evening, buddy. Good win today. 3-2. 3-2 for Fenerbahce away from home. I think Samata scored. I'm not sure if Samata, Samata scored today. Oh, we've got this bloody cup game and all. Two leggers. Every so often. I get three to four episodes recorded in one weekend. But usually I'm only recording. Yeah. Every so often. And you have, what, two, two, two series on the go, don't you? Oh, Merkel gets his PC. Nice, nice. That'll tie in nicely for the Patreon League. The Patreon Champions League. I thought of a good way of formatting that now. So, um, Patreons will get involved in that. Even, I'm going to open it out to the to the lowest tier. But they're just going to be on a... Uh, they're going to be the unseeded teams for the Champions League. Version called Sosa. I saw Sosa scored because he scored the first. So that was easy. Hellcast, he's a new one. Uh, yes, might go for one regular series on one live stream series. On your Saturday nights. Good time for that. Good time for me that, Saturday nights. Uh, Amy works, you see. So Saturday nights, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a loose end. What I do is because this obviously this is Ralphie's room. Saturday nights, I'll Ralphie. I put Ralphie in my bed with me. He fell asleep, then I came in here so I could watch watch your stream and then play at the same time. 
I would do it as well. Obviously, I'm not going to. I'm not doing it. So <laughs> don't worry about sharing viewers and stuff. But um, it's just if Ralphie wakes Ralphie wakes up and then it's kind of stream over, isn't it? But I think Saturday nights is just at a night. I'll have finished work for the week, so it'd be good just to chill out, play a bit of FM. Don't, I'm gonna lip. I'm gonna push myself not to do any sort of like recording shite and editing and just have Saturday nights of watching a bit of content being in a stream or two and then doing that uh, looking for a mid table Lewis is still FM20 searching yeah Benfica would be good into Milan Inter Milan, that was just got edged by Spurs for the um, beta save. What do you think about Ozan Tufan? Um, in this save, he's been amazing for me. Um, not so much now. He's got he's kind of thirty plus, but yeah. I, to be honest, I don't, we don't get much Turkish football in. We don't get any Turkish football in England, so I really struggle to watch any kind of football. What do you, uh, Soda, what do you think of him? What about Bayez? Has, has, has Bayez been playing? Jace has, Jace has gone straight to the Greece choice. Burak. If anyone does a... Uh, David, do you want to do a, a Greece save next year? Because who is it will be your... Uh, He'll be your um, biggest fan. <laughs> right, what's the referee doing here? Torino, okay. Yeah, not a bad shout. Still got Bolotti. Is Simeon, is Simeon Zaza still there? Uh, no, Berjan, just, I, I would do, I would do, mate, I just don't have enough time in the day, work, family, little boy, um, FM, it, it takes up too much of my time, buddy. Ajax, uh, what's here, uh, one, one, luckily for us, because we're quite close to York, very close to York. Um, we were a bit worried that we were going to be put in Tier 2, but um, they've made our district now, which is called Rydale, they've made our own district quite... Um, their own their own little area, you see. So um, we, should, we should be good. Our our numbers have increased. Like, during the first wave, our when there was, like, Hundreds of people dying a day. We had like no cases at all in Rydale and stuff. So um, we're quite a rural. Our Rydale area is quite big, but pretty rural with a couple of biggish towns. But um, yeah, Mrs. just said a, a, lad, a lad in year three at Ralphie School's just been um, has, has got it. So that that'll mean there'll be less kids in school this week. And there's been a couple at my school where I work at have, have had it. Oh, you're tier three. Where are you, Corey? So what does that mean? Everything, clo loads of stuff closes? Are you like Manchester or Lancashire way or something? To be honest... Oh, Blackburn, yeah. To be honest, I try... I try my hardest not to look at stuff. I'm not on Facebook. I don't watch the news anymore. Now my job is kind of secure in that sense. Um, I don't... I don't look... Watch it too much to be honest I try and stay away from it because it just plays on my mind and I've got enough stuff to worry about <laughs> without worrying about lockdowns and stuff so as long as you don't do a national thing I'll be alright we just told him no brilliant alright we need a little bit more lads a little bit more Right, 
Let's get Nigel off. He's had a stinker there, hasn't he? Got to get Bales off as well. And Marucci. Big chenks on. Got to keep him fit for the big one. Yeah, I try and stay away from it, Ishan, to be honest. I have a little little look on Twitter sometimes, on the trending bit for COVID, but not, not very often. Try and stay away from it. Yeah, it's... I found it's easy just to switch off and <laughs> worry about something else. Worry about something else. <laughs> Cheers, Isha. Cheers, buddy. I was hoping for a big push in the Champions League, but that, that first game has sucked the life out. I thought we'd have got revenge on him, but you never know. We might get it in the uh, part de... Is it part de Prince? Yeah, it's best way. I don't really want to get into politics and stuff anyway, so. That's not my bag either. Right, well done, lads. Well done, lads. Another one chalked up. Clean sheets this year have been tree men dos. Winning Ishan, definitely. I'm a little bit uh, so I watched, listened to a podcast a while ago, and one of the one of the guys, it was the Grass and Gear podcast, and he said, "Did he say? I think he said, or was it him? I can't think if it was F FM Grasshopper had said that he wanted to keep players and move players on into the next saves, you know, like so, like moving Nigel van der Sman on. And at first, I was like, oh, that's a stupid idea." But there's a part of me that would... I feel a bit... Because I've only had enjoyed him for two years. There's a part of me that... Maybe not... I carry him into the game and I get to put him in a team. But... I would like to have... Just have a function where... I could click Nigel van der Sman. And then... Boof! He would pop up. Pop up somewhere in FM21. At some point. In one of the saves. Not necessarily at your own club. But at, at somewhere. He would pop up in the game. But I imagine that's never going to happen. You know when you're sent about scoring first time volleys. <laughs> it was that the waste? Did I miss that one? Was that my centre half? Or is that your centre half? We've set a new record. 54 games unbeaten. Have we got a Gala game coming up soon? Oh yeah, we've got PSG and Gala. No problem. Right, we've got a cup game here. I think I might need to do a little, just a little bit of rotation. Yeah, he's probably up there with mine. To be honest, I'd Right, sometimes I don't go into saves long enough to buy absolute amazing ones. I had one at Man United last year who was pretty good. But because I'm not a top, top club, it's been good to have. Look at Ireland singing Danzo's praise. Just fuck off, you dickhead. We got good buns out of him, though, didn't we? 80 million when he had one year left on his deal. Right, burst of sport. We'll definitely do some changes. Oh, is it for me? Get in. Too busy talking to you, like you see. <clears throat> oh, we've got a... Before the Champions League. Is that before the Champions League game? Yeah, Denzel Spore, a bottom of the league and we're at home. Debating resting a fair few. Right, let's let's play this leg strong, rest a few where we can in the home in the home game against the Denzel Sporer over a bottom. 
so then some of them can get a rest. The wing backs. We've got decent options in wing backs. To be fair, we've got decent options in centre midfield, to be fair. But yes, we'll maybe rest Big Nige. Muddled cheat. We'll play a 5 3 2, maybe. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Cuenca's been brilliant. Cuenca's been brilliant. We had him on loan for a few years and he was a decent. As he goes, is that on loan? Has he gone to them on loan? Probably going to cry when my York City finishes to fair. Alvia, yeah, I saw that the other day on my York City one. It was the first game that I realised I was like, shit, both both starting 11s were all regions. For me, that's when I think the save starts to just start to turn a little bit. I could never do season 30 kind of stuff. What am I on now? York City, about four, 15. So, yeah, it's 20 years. Is I think 20 years is the max for me. I'll get that back. Get that back. Oh, no. This is semi-final, boys, this. So, it's a big game. I wanted to get, get in a lead so we could rest a few for the second leg. Van der Schman. Oh, that was smelly. Ten years. JDHFM, how are you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. Oh, no, also I missed. I think AJ. I'm sure I saw AJ's name pop up. I did. I must have said all I'm very well, AJ. Sorry, buddy, if you're still in. I'm trying to concentrate and the chat's a little bit quick. So apologies, buddy, but I think I said all right to you. I hope I did anyway. Right, Danzo. That's a stinker. That is an absolute stinker. Picked it up though, we might be alright here. What are we doing with it here? There we go. We built that pretty nicely. Nice and patient, I suppose. Aiden still got it. Deliver. Oh, Sessions there. Vanders, man. We twatted that. Yeah, I'm not far. I'm not far off, buddy. What am I on about? I'm not. I think I'm at nearly at four thousand five hundred. I think. I think. I think. I think. Yeah, just under four. Yeah, I think I'm on exactly four thousand four hundred seventy. Because YouTube only works in tens now. So, to be honest, the last. Month or so has been really good on the channel. September. September was nearly my best ever. Yes, yeah, September was nearly my best ever um, month on the channel in terms of views. It was the best best month I've ever had on the channel in terms of um, ad revenue, which was good. But yeah, it's going well. I wanted, I wanted five thousand. No, sorry, I've set myself a big target of six thousand before FM twenty two comes out. Um, so yeah, that's the. No, it's not. Is it attack? Well, yeah, I'd be happy when I reach that. If I can reach that, that means that the channel is still growing. Obviously, to a certain extent, it's out of your control. Um, but yeah, that's that's the aim. But yes. Yeah, Sessignon. But then uh, this morning I woke up to like minus <laughs> minus four subs. Four people who done subbed over the night. Uh, in terms of what, Corey? In terms of content creating? It's going to be a bloody slender lead. That's nice. That's nice. That's smelly. Nice football. We'll take it. 
Uh, yeah, April 2018, buddy. So next April will be three years. So it'd be nice to get to 5,000, which I should do before April. Yeah. Yeah, I will do. I should be very disappointed if I don't get to 5,000 before then, so, yeah. Yeah, get in the likes, gents. Yeah, apparently it works. Apparently it works with the algorithm. Only if you want to. Yeah, the first save I did was, it started at the back end of April. April, so, yeah, it'll be three, three years in April. Mud up shake. Can we just get a third? That'll just make it a little bit nicer for the away leg. Nice session on Muruchi. Aiden, get in. It's big. That's big. Hey, Statman, how's it going, Matt? Won't be in long tonight. No worries, buddy. Thanks for coming in. You kind of probably missed the climax to the season, but it'll be uploaded as a, as a VOD in the morning for you to enjoy. Hope you're well, buddy. So I've put the, uh, we've been using Harris Heller's stream beats for the last few months. And I just thought we'd just, for the tunes, I thought we'd just go back to um, my mate Registers, uh, My Everest. This was always the, F the Fenerbahce album. I thought it might give us a bit of good luck. Right, that helps us out for the second leg. It just gives us an option to rotate a little bit. Yeah, what did you think? I think it flattered us a little bit. We've got problems if Matt has, Matt has looking class. <laughs> as as harsh as it seems. Right, we're risking we're risking a lot here. As long as we don't get beat up. These are bottom of the league. I want to rotate. Try and rest four or five. Midfield, wing backs. Probably Marucci. So he's the one that struggles the most. Don't help I ain't got Ishmael Gull. It's a bit of a nightmare. Right, let's we're gonna rest Talisa, so we'll play Melagoni. I tell you what, no, we'll we'll get where is he? Where is he? Let's put Mendy in to start with. Let's go to my other one. We'll go too far. We'll go. Ooh, we'll put Fernandez in there. We'll play Emerson. Play Diacate. Yilmaz. Dink. Mm, Marucci does need a rest. I'll go Parrot and Van der Schman, and then I'll maybe go Marucci and Schenk to come on later on, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Mr. Killer. I got an illegal stream, even though I didn't really have it. If I'd have had the money, no, I probably won't, because to be fair, the, the, the stream that I got was fucking really good. Um... But I have literally got about six quid to last me two weeks. <laughs> I know, mate. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. And then Dan James as well. Just like it seems like Dan James seems a half decent player, but Vanders. Uh, I thought Donny van der Beek must be fucking fuming. And he comes on again and just clever. Just really clever when he gets on the ball. 
Is it Champions League this week? Do we start in the Champions League? No, he's not, mate. He's not Merco. Right, Yavos Dink. Vandersman, get in. Oh, is it Tuesday PSG? Oh, nice. Van der Beek will get going. Guaranteed it's for Pogba. Just see out this season and it'll be Pogba it'll be Pogba gone. So if we carry on being what we are, we're not gonna finish any higher than fourth. So Pogba will wanna go and I think we'll cash in. Cause he's we've just triggered his extension for next season, but then his contract's out, so I think they'll bin him off. I think they'll sell him. He ain't fucking that good anyway, is he? Let's be honest. As Mendy makes it 2-0. Hey! How you doing, Rai? Hope you're well, buddy. Nice to see you. Not see you, but... See your name. How's life? Hope it's all good. Yes, definitely, Pete. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even that free kick. He scored a free kick against Brighton in the Carabao Cup and he was, like, loving it and it took the fucking biggest deflection ever. The, the, on, the only thing... Oh, Ozan's getting sent off. <laughs> um, the only thing I can think of with Pogba is what would he be like under a decent coach? What would he be like under a decent coach? Right, as long as we don't lose this one, it won't be the end of the world if we uh, end up getting pegged back. But I need to take Nigel off and Troy. I'm not even going to put Marucci on. We're going to go with Chenk and the youngster. As long as we don't get beat 3-2 and my run keeps going, I'll take it. Even though we're at home against the bottom of the league. Reset, Aaron. Oh, God. We've survived. Just. We haven't. We have. Yeah, he's just destined to go somewhere in Spain, isn't he? To play with the big, play with the big boys. Oh, God. Yeah, so it'll either Ollie will have to go, or they'll sell him, or and they'll get a decent manager in before the summer. Or if it gets the next summer, they'll sell him. Because he ain't going to sign another contract, is he? he cause he's, to be fair to him, he'll want to win big trophies, won't he? Iceland? What, the national, national team Iceland? Sorry, the chat's going a bit quick. We're fucking all over the spot here. Um, or the international one. Oh, that's not another sending off, is it? Christ. Oh, do you think that could be a thing, right? Yeah, because he's struggling a little bit. What would you do with Pogba if you were managing my... How would you play him? Uh I'd play him higher up, but we can't do that. I would have played, before we got Bruno, I would have played him in behind, in behind, a, like in a 4-2-3-1, played him as in a shadow striker. That's what I would have done. Brilliant, he's brilliant at arriving in the box, but he sits too deep for it, and he just has a, f 
Look, he's quite creative and he swings a few few nice passes around, but in general, he's he's pretty poor at just doing the basics of getting it and switching play simply. He's always got to take too many touches. I'd rather him higher up the pitch and free to, free to roam. That's what I would have done. It's obviously very, very difficult. Now, if Pochettino came in, if Pochettino came in, he would maybe move it into a diamond. Especially now we haven't got Sancho. We haven't got an amazing wingers. We could, you know, Rashford, Greenwood, Martial, Cavani could be the two out of four strikers. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. But then I'm not gonna. But then Bruno Fernandez has been poor, so it's a tough one. Hated Pogba since he played a blinder in the first game. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, was that like a Cardiff? Yeah, release him. There's always going to be that grey area with him that he's never had that manager, that team. Was he ever going to be that player that would take us to the next level? I think when we signed him. And the more I learn about Mourinho, the more I understand that I side with him. You know, the issue was always Pogba and Mourinho just didn't put up with his shit and expected more from him and expected more discipline from him and, and he don't get that. Whereas he seems to be getting that at Spurs, look at I know Spurs lost that game today, but if you think about the middle three that they had, Hoiberg, Sissoko, even in Dombele, he's got a tune out of Endombele because he's been tough with him, and Endombele, to be fair to him, has stuck it out and rode it out, not whinged a great deal, and Endombele looked really good for sort of like sixty minutes. Whereas Pogba just down tools, didn't he? And also, Pogba, by the way, was sub yesterday, wasn't he? Let's not forget that. He weren't rested. He was fucking dropped. Probably because of his comments. I do like Fred. I thought Fred was... Fred's been brilliant. And he was very unfortunate to, when Bruno came in. When Bruno came in, he was the one that had to step aside because it was sort of like went Matic, Pogba, Fernandez, didn't it, as the middle three. Um... Right, here we go, boys. Fucking hell. Uh, right, I'm going to go for the front three, but we're going to put it onto cautious. I just cannot not have Marucci playing. Talisa. Parrot. Sessignon. We're going to go Emerson. We're going to keep Emerson's place on that right-hand side. Ishmael Gull can get himself on the bench. Bayez is going to have to play. I've never understood the hype around Pogba's personality. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're probably not far off there, Lewis. Yeah, I like Scott McTominay and he's perfect. He's perfect player to have as a squad player. As a squad player to back up his, his, well, his English, even though he's playing for Scotland, his English youth system. He's a perfect one to have as a backup. No, he's not good enough. But then is he good enough to play at games against Newcastle? Probably, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Marino in his second phase, yeah. But you know what the difference is, right? There is no huge massive personalities in that in that change room at, at Tottenham pretty much like when he came into Chelsea they weren't winners and then he took them and look he's not going to take Tottenham up there but I just think they're now just starting to understand how how <laughs> well a terrible example today is game management but how he wants to control games and 
and stuff and the standards he expects, I think Tottenham are just buying into it a little bit. They needed two decent centre-halves, by the way, Tottenham. Next summer, they just need to go out and buy the best two centre-halves they can get their hands on. So, like the midfield, the midfield's not the most creative, but it does a job like they've got the Celso still to come back, and is good, but people like Sissoko, and um, Hoiberg's brilliant at just doing what he does. Sat in there, breaking up play, big, strong. There's no reason why that can't work again. Right, here we go, boys. This is big. <sighs> no, he's not, definitely not Tom Cleverley. Right, I need to fill me, fill me juice up. This is big, this one. This is big, this one, boys. I was gutted when I got PSG, but that's our own fault. That's our own fault for how we did the Champions League. Right, one minute in, already a highlight. This is how it started last time. A goal doesn't change a great deal. Are we going to count? Oh, I just thought we were going to counter then. I thought we were going to counter. God, it's a busy first two minutes. Just play, just play. Quinka. Oh, we've got that. Go on, Nige. Go on, Nige. Go on, Nige. Get in. Get in. I've got a cold sore on my lip. So if you see me touching it, it's because I've probably made it bleed there. What a fucking start. Bayez, just a bit of route one. That's why I play the three up front. Because of that ball, out ball. Him in behind, high full backs. Running against defenders who probably are quick in Delict and Solet, but they aren't going to be as quick as Big Nige. Let's calm down. Someone told me not to jinx it. Mirko told me not to jinx it. It's a fucking long way to go. Vandersman. Oh, Marucci! It was about an inch. Rucci. Emerson. Bayez. Vandersman. Parrot. Come on. Can we get another while we're playing bloody well? You've gotta you've gotta score goals when you're on top. You've gotta to score goals when you're on top. We're getting it back. Danzo. Tobiro. Here we go. Sessignon. Skin him. Marucci! Do we all understand the expression, the expression of skinning? Does everyone know what that means? I didn't know if it was a Yorkshire thing or that. We used to always say that to uh, my, one of my favourite York City players, John McCarthy. Skin him! Skin him, John! I don't know if that's a Yorkshire thing. You know, good. That's it. Skin him. That's what my dad used to always shout at me on the touchline. When I was a kid, skin him, skin him. Which meant just run at him and be direct. Bayez. Marucci. Here we go. Rinse him, yeah, that would see you. You're a bit young. No, no, you're not young as me, yeah, you're right. I've never, I didn't, we never said rinse him. Skin him. I don't hear it, to be honest, I don't hear it very often. Ah! No, no! What's he done? He's kicked it against Danzo. He kicked it against Danzo, I think. Oh, no! Here 
We're bringing on Ishmael Gull. I'm ignoring you lot. Chat for the next 28 minutes of the game. Come on, boys. We get a goal. We've done it. Because it's an away goal. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a highlight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Tackled. Just pulled it back nicely. Sessignon. Ishmael Gull! He's offside, I think. Fucking offside. Bastard. Okay. Calm. Calm. I think you lot are like five seconds behind me, so it's ten seconds behind me or so, so it's not too bad. Right. Ryan Session has lost more possession than anyone else. Might have a little double at putting Mendy out there, you know. We get four subs now, don't we? Let's have, a, let's have some fresh legs because Mendy's crossing is tremendous. And I think Mendy's crossing is like 17. That's why I bought him. Yeah, 17 crossing. Get one stuck up at the back stick. Got a few issues in there. I'm going to have to put Adrian in as well. That does leave us a sub. Does extra? Does does goal? Does away goals count in extra time? Yes. So if we score, if we do score an away goal, it's huge. Oh no, we're a minute in. We're a minute in. They've got a throw. We're not picking up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What a fucking save that is. Neymar. Defend, boys. Cuenca's just got a back flick, back header to it. Martinez. We haven't created anything since, like, what? We were so dominant in that first 40 minutes or so. Hakimi, can we win it? Yes. Oh, no, he's lost it again. Correa. Oh, Select. He's a centre-half. Oh, he's a centre-half who's done that. Okay. Okay. Bayez is dead as well, so we're going to get Dink on. Don't believe that. He's a centre half. What's his shooting? Long shots, nine. Finishing, five. All them now, innit? All them now. Come on. Come on, just a chance, boys. 
No, it's just playing out. Oh, we've got a highlight. We've got a highlight. Oh, what a terrible ball! Why is why is their centre half playing like he's a fucking playmaker all of a sudden? No. We've been done. We've been done by a booted the ball at our defender on the line, and then I don't believe that. We've been done by two goals outside the area from a centre half and Hakimi. I think that was even on his weak foot. Yeah, left foot. Oh, boys, this save is going to live with me forever. On what might have been. It's a lesson. It's a lesson that I've learned for FM21 that this save should have been 12 years in the future, not eight. It should have been another four seasons. But because I've fucked about... And not done enough streaming and done Deportivo, which I've enjoyed. But Deportivo was good for views, but it wasn't good for me in terms of finishing stuff off. So, a lesson a lesson learned. Our oh, youth intake is dog shit. Oh. I'm, I'm happy that we've got the Europa League. I just wanted it I just wanted our season just to be extended a little bit in terms of Europe. And now we've got to go to Galatasaray with our unbeaten run. Don't feel bad, but I do I feel bad. I feel terrible. Like I've been swearing all week at the computer like with York City because I've properly like got in, involved in the York City one. Amy keeps messaging me when she's downstairs or in the bedroom doing her uni work saying what is going on and she knows what's going on and it infuriates me but um, this one tonight has just broke my heart. <laughs> Literally broke my heart. Because what I said in the tweet earlier as well that this... This series has been phenomenal in building the channel, getting regular guys every week in the channel. People from Turkey sending me Fenerbahce shirts. Even though I haven't spoke to Eden for a couple of weeks, but like him sending me a shirt is just crackers. Like the views have been decent on it, but like not amazing. But I, I will miss this. So like I don't want to like just shout and swear at the computer because we got screwed over. But I did, I did want a little push in Champions League. But at least this invincible thing, this invincible thing keeps us going for now. Have the boys got the attitude to step it up and go again? Have they got it in them to go again? Let's get Gully in. <laughs> Reload. Oh no. You've seen it. I hope so, stat stats. I hope I hope so. I hope so. I, well I'm hoping that you lads like Erdem's dropped off. 
and a couple of the Turkish lads have dropped off obviously since I moved away from the and I went to that uh, project survival thing but I think the most of you will just get involved in obviously a, a, the first couple of seasons might be a bit tough because I have no idea who plays for them they have got someone who's like the leading Murachi. excuse me they have got someone who's a leading goal scorer for the Russian league I don't know how they've got on this weekend but they've started pretty good so hopefully their squad's pretty good big ups to Erdem yeah he's probably dating or something like that Singing a bit of jazz to a few ladies, probably. But that's what I mean. Like people like Erdem have only has only joined the channel because of of because of this save. And hopefully, at some point in the next sort of like year or two. Um, by the way, we're beating Galatasaray two 0 <laughs> um, Hopefully, at some point in the next year or so. When things go back to normal, that um, me and the missus will be going to see him in, and spending a, a week in Turkey. So that's that's the plan in twenty twenty one or at the very latest twenty twenty two. Right, Sessignon, Bayez. I just thought as well at, at one nil in that last game, boys. We were all over him and we had so many chances, so many chances. We'll win the league, Merkel. We'll win the league. Have I just jinxed that? Oh, did they lose to Zenit? Okay, they were fourth. They were fourth before international break. So obviously they've dropped down a couple of positions. But okay, can't get a shirt anywhere. Can't get a shirt anywhere. Devastated. I might. I might have to go see my mate at the printers in town. And ask him to, because f- they're Nike, and their shirt is pretty simple. It's it's a bit of a template shirt, just a white Nike tick. I might ask him just to bang me on a Sochi badge, <laughs> bang us on a Sochi badge, buddy, and then I could say that I've got a Sochi shirt, which I think he'll probably do for me, and not charge me seventy quid for it. It'll be about what will it be? It'll be about twenty quid. I've also um. Um, I emailed Vittoria Settable ages ago saying, I want to get a shirt and you don't have a club shop. Can you sort me out a shirt? Like, obviously, not not like asking for a freebie. No one responded. And then for the first time in weeks, they've, because of all the money stuff that they've had going, going on, they've um, tweeted their new stadium plans. And I tweeted saying, any chance you can respond to an email? And then some random guy from, from Portugal um, doesn't, isn't a member of staff, but he's a big fan, and said, how can I, can I help you? And I was like, I need a shirt. And he hadn't responded yet. So I'm hoping he responds and says, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get you a shirt and I'll send it across. Yeah, they did. They did have that 10-1 Casey. Um, that was be- mainly because it was, it had their, um... I'm going to go on attacking here. Um... That was because Rostov, was that bef- with COVID? It might have been because of COVID. Buddy Hakan always goes past me, always. Got to be cautious when I've just moved it on to attacking. If we get a point here, it's fine. Wide. No, sorry, Jace, it worked. Sochi, that was, um, sorry, mate, that was Vittoria Settable. I've not even tried with, I've not even tried with um, Sochi yet. Um, but I'll, I think I'm just going to get a Nike shirt and then get, um, maybe even get their sponsor on it. I don't know if he'll do that for me. I suppose I don't have to, um, yeah, that that could that could work. That could work. Their badge as well is class. Fucking hanging on a bit yeah. We love a decent first half performance, don't we? Yeah, he's fucking scored. He's fucking shit and all. 
Okay. Okay. We're going to have to go back onto cautious now. I can't lose. Oh, no. A highlight straight after the goal. Nice football. Nice football. This has to be our attack. What a pass. Go on! Is he onside? Is he onside? Oh, you... Try not to scream because Ralph is in the next room. Look at Ishan, told you. I know, we should have maybe started on attacking. Sometimes attack is the best form of defence, Ishan. But we've done it, we've got a point. I'm happy with that because we're well clear. We've got eight games to go, boys, for the Invincible season. I've never done an Invincible season so far, uh, ever. Oh, not in terms of mentality, I get you. Yeah, it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough, Stats. I've looked at the website. <laughs> Jason the Mourinho, stop running your mouth. Your flights were a little bit easier to come by. I, I should have just, just bought a flight for like 50p off uh, EasyJet and flown and picked it up and picked it up from the club shop and then come back. Yeah, so that series will be three times a week just because uh, they're now in the third tier. <laughs> Which has made the save a whole lot longer and a whole lot harder. Look at that. Look at the budget. Look at the budget. £12 million, pounds, boys. How much is in the bank? 21 million. Dirty bastards. Mourinho wouldn't agree with what? Always stingy. Always stingy. I looked back at the saves. I think I'll do a little recap video at some point of the talk about the save and the players and stuff like that. And if you were here from the start, you'll know the shit we had to put up with for the first three or four years. I got like five million at the start and a load of old players on big contracts. And I got that. I got Tosun in. And then for about... I'll show you now. Right. And this is why we're winning. There was only the... We've won every single league championship apart from the first season. So we spent nine there, but we made 10 million profit. Second season, I spent 975,000. Gareth Bale, good shout. People like Jetro Williams, Amapadu came in, Dalot on loan, Valverde, Cuenca, Boateng. We then spent the season after that, we spent 200k. And we sold 12.25. What did we sell last the season before? So we didn't sell much there. They just We had money. He just wasn't giving it to us. And then, I think this was the season where I decided, look, there's Gareth. There's Gareth, director of football. He had a really good little stint with us towards the end of his career. I ended up playing in wing back as well. Um... And then... Because, I'm going to be honest boys, I'm not the most loyalist. And I think the bright lights of Galatasaray were shining at me a little bit. But then, to be fair to them, they never sacked their manager. They've stayed with Faith Terim. But I was like, right, fuck it. I'm going to, if Galatasaray sacked their manager, I'm going to sack their manager. I'm going to apply for it. I've got no loyalty. I've got no loyalty in football. No, oh, sorry, you should. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't agree with that. No. Hey, Ishan, Ishan, Ishan. Come on. You're Arsenal as well, aren't you, Ishan? You're an Arsenal fan. 
Like, Jerry, yeah, exactly right, yeah. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Excuse my French. Yeah. I do like... I've hated Arsenal for a long, long time. I've hated Arsenal probably more than any Premier League club, I think. Just because, based on, they should have sacked Wenger about five, three or four years before. But I just love... I've done a... Not reading. I don't read. Um, watching a few programmes on Arteta and a few things on YouTube about him and just his attention to detail and stuff. It's just brilliant. I'm kind of jealous that you've got Arteta. I don't love, like, not Arteta, well, yeah, Arteta himself would have been brilliant, but an ex-Manchester United player being as good as him. <laughs> makes two, that makes three. There you go. Oh, shit, yeah, Lewis. Because at the start, loads, imagine what Erdem would have done. Imagine what Erdem would have done if they'd gone to Galatasaray. He, he likes the chairman as well. So the chairman in real life, who has been really stingy at the time, he kind of likes him. He has been good for Fenerbahce. And he invited him on the pitch, didn't he? A couple of, about two months ago, he invited um, him on the pitch to sing. So, Erdem, don't do any, he doesn't do any wrong in Erdem's eyes. Yeah. The only thing is, he, he just... It was a, a little bit sour, but you think about the last five years, playing Man City, you've lost 1-0. You've normally not gone there and got fucking absolutely turned over. Imagine if... Just imagine that you'd... I know you didn't, so it's easy to say, well, we didn't, but played like that, 90th minute, you get a penalty, like Newcastle did at, at Tottenham. You get a bloody stupid free kick, put it in the box and they score. And then it would have been awesome, awesome result, awesome result. Did that just pop up? <laughs> Did it? Oh my, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, he's retiring. Oh no, boys, he's retiring. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Could, I can't. I, I only have a season left. Look at me. This is how disloyal. This is how disloyal I am. Not in life. I'm very loyal to. Um, I'm very loyal to Amy. <laughs> Football. No, I see a challenge. But to be fair, um, Abri wants to download the save after me and take over as Galatasaray manager. That's what Abri wants to do. So I might, I might release this. I might release, to, especially to any of you lot that are not getting FM straight away. I might release it to you so then you can um, take over as Galatasaray. Don't take over as me. Take over as Galatasaray. Would they give me the job? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did the beating last week. Shambles again from Gala. Their league, their, the Turkish league is wide open this year, though, because uh, I don't know how Istanbul got on. Istanbul, Bashakir, but they were bottom, I think, before the international break, so... Don't you dare. Oh. You can't... Um, Sorry, Jace. The um, fifth term, Galatasaray manager's retiring. Yeah, didn't give a fuck, did he? 
Didn't give a fuck. Holy teams, I'm trying to just read messages ago. <laughs> Cheers, I don't listen to children. I said that to the kids yesterday at Mini Kickers. I sat them, they're only, what are they? Five, uh, the school year one, so they're a year older than Ralphie, so they're five or six. And they're, lov they're lovely, but they're, they're not very good. Like, they're probably, the, in terms of quality, they're, they're, they're probably the worst set that I've had since I've started. Um, and then when I sit down, they're just all chatting, not like naughty chatting, just chatting away. And I kind of told them that time to chat was at school on a Monday morning. And that when they're when, when they're with me for an hour, they need to sit. <laughs> when they're with me, they need to sit and listen. So they'll probably all go into the schools telling them that their coach said um, we're allowed to talk and we have to be quiet at football. I do read. To be fair, that's that's a bad. Um, I do. I just haven't. I don't have time to read. I'm halfway through Simon Jordan's book, the ex Crystal Palace owner. Um, which Amy got me last Christmas, and I spent a lot of time reading. I just I haven't read it for about five months, but I want to finish that. And then I've got Brett Brett Hart's book, which I started, and I did about two chapters of, and no more than that, probably three or four. And then haven't read it for a couple of years, so I want to restart that. It's just finding the time. Doing this on a night when Ralphie goes to bed, or Amy's at work, or she's asleep. There's always something to do, football manager wise, either it's making a thumbnail, editing, playing games, recording, there's always summer and it just gets in the way of stuff like reading, so. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not very good. It's been it's been a bit of a challenge. It's been a bit of a challenge. It's their last year with me as well, so after this year I send them on. I send them on to like the local team and um, yeah, the they're not great, but they're the easiest bunch to coach. Whereas Ralphie's year, who's the, his age group is the year below, so I've got them for another year and a half. They're so much better as a group. But um, like Ralphie kicked off today at my nan at, at my mum's house, Nana's house for him, because um, he was losing snakes and ladders, and he proper kicked off. And I don't know where he's got that from, at all. Like we're quite comp. Ooh, we're quite competitive, me and the missus, but we don't, we don't do it in in front of him. And he's, we keep telling him it's about working hard, trying hard, doing the best you can. And I was whinging yesterday because York drew nil nil, and I wasn't happy because we played proper turd yesterday. And he told me he turned around to me in the car and said, "You can't win every week, Daddy." So I thought, oh, the the seed is started to be sown in his head. And then snakes and ladders today. It was just fucking. He just went like that with board in the end. I think he ended up going down a snake. I think at some point he landed on a snake and there was the box with the with the snake's tongue in it and he said, no, because I only put the snake's... I only put my counter on the snake's head and not on his tongue, so it doesn't count. He was proper, like, just bending rules. So he's, he's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> An absolute nightmare for the next year and a half. But on the flip side of that, he's got that winning lads in his group are a little bit more switched on. So a little bit of a a winning mentality where they probably would try a little bit harder to make sure they didn't lose. Yeah, I, to be honest, I never really liked it as a kid. Then I got into it. Amy Amy went through a stage about a year, what would have been early this year, Van der Schman's injured. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um... She got into it, and then I started reading because um, cause Amy bought me Simon Jordan, and then things have just changed. I just don't have fucking time. And we watch telly. I think we might probably do. Now she's... Get in, Troy. Now she's at home more. I think we probably will chill out a little bit and read a little bit more, but we've been watching telly, TV, and we catch up on Netflix and Coronation Street and Gogglebox at the moment. But I need to read Brett's autobiography. I want it on my shelf here as well. Extend my, extend my Brett shelf.
Manga? What you want about manga? Love a good manga. I think I might have stepped into a different conversation. Troy is on fire. This left side. Bullet header. To be fair, it was a bit of a bargain. If we'd stayed with this save for a couple of years, I think I would have probably ended up selling him on it a massive profit like I did with Harlan, to be honest. Ah, oh, right, okay. I've never got into them, to be honest. I never got, even got into comics. We, um, me, and the mus me and the missus love going to York the other day, and there's loads of... York's gone a bit geeky with Harry Potter stuff, and um, the shops in that look like um, Diagon Alley and in Harry Potter and then there's a couple of geeky shops that I love to go into and there's there's one that has I can't think what it's called and it has rows and rows and rows of comics and it's just never bearing in mind I love Batman, Spider Man, it's just never never grasped me at all. Have you read Stone Cold? Yeah. I can't remember why I got Brett Man. I don't know if Amy bought me Brett Hitman Hearts. I was looking at stuff of Amy's asked me what I want for Christmas, so I basically just said Bret Hart stuff, basically to add to my wall. But I'm getting a bit worried that this little shelf that I have will turn into a, like a bit of a a bit of a weird shrine. So I might need to draw it back a little bit. Right, we've got 12 days of Trans and Spore. We're, we're edging, edging towards. We've got eight games to go, boys. I've got eight? No, seven. Seven to go. We haven't lost. <laughs> Mighty Ducks. I used to watch Mighty Ducks. Matt the Heart Foundation, yeah. I've really got back into wrestling. I haven't watched it a great deal since the crowds have gone. I think I've understood how much a vital impact the crowds have, have been for it, for wrestling. Um, Ralphie's, Ralphie likes watching um, a guy do the toys where he makes his own little series on it and he takes pictures and he has them moving around. It's called WSC wrestling stage creator and Ralphie watches that every morning before school and he absolutely loves it. Oh, was it? Yeah. That, yeah. He was supposed to be, uh, Dave, he was supposed to be doing one just based on the Attitude Era. My boss, my boss at work is massive on wrestling, absolutely huge. And he, to be honest, he kind of got me back into it a little bit. And... He said that he was writing another book, but this was like two years ago, and it's never, it's never turned up. So I was, because my upbringing was the Attitude Area, and then I went off it for fifteen years more, six, yeah, fifteen years at least. I didn't want it to be about stuff that I didn't really know, so I was hoping he was going to do it, and um, but it, it hasn't, it hasn't turned up yet. Yeah, we watch a bit. Ralphie's started watching a little bit of it now that a few WWE boys have moved over there. Um, I've decided as well that we're, we're, well, we were going to take him this November when they did the WWE live tour. We were going to take him to one and pay a lot of money for like really good tickets. But I need to go to America. It's like the bucket list now. WrestleMania. Just And I, to be honest... I don't think, Amy, if I said to Amy we're off for WrestleMania, she'd probably go mental that I'd spent so much money on WrestleMania at some point. But I think she would absolutely love it. Because I think she can tolerate wrestling. And the atmosphere for a WrestleMania would be absolutely immense. So it's on the bucket list. 
but on Ralphie to appreciate it a little bit more. He would get bored. He would get bored through it, halfway through it. So he needs to be at least 10, I think, to be able to sit through it. Does he talk about his wife dying or did she die? Did she die after that? I think she maybe died after the, his book because that was horrific. That proper... It was only a couple of years ago so it was probably after the book to be honest. Yeah, to be honest, a Royal, a royal Rumble would probably be better for Ralph because he absolutely loves Royal Rumbles. He loves Royal Rumbles. But like watching back some of the clips of of WrestleMania and stuff, but then he like flip side of that is that if I was in the crowd this year for Royal Rumble and Edge came back, I would have been like I would have probably been like crying. <laughs> Just like because of like the what it was like when I was a kid. Triple H, yeah, was a he was a brilliant heel in the Attitude Area, wasn't he? He's like now like one of my favourites. I often use him when I'm when I'm grappling Ralphie. He mentions it. Ah, uh, yeah. He was like, was it like a motorcycle accident? She died. I'm pretty. It was like motorcycle accident, wasn't it? Yeah, it's um. It's a good and the best thing about Ralphie is that he knows all of that era, so he understands this obviously is Sarah because he watches it. But he knows who Stone Cold is, he knows who Rock is, Triple H with long hair, he knows who Ric Flair is, Bret Hart, Kane. His favorite wrestler is Kane, and he's not been Kane's not been in WWE since he started watching it two years ago. So. Oh shit, yeah he did. Yeah he did. That's mental. I had no one to watch it with. So I'm how old are you, Dev? You must be a you must be a what my, I don't want to say a lot older, but that's really rather rude. You must be thirty? Thirty No, you'd be forty early forties? I'm gonna say forty two based on that, if you're at uni. Go on, Dave. Share, 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 share it. Go on, Ralphie. Forty-two. Get in. Guess that. So I was like thirteen, fourteen, and then I didn't have. Did I also watch? Was any friends watching it? I can't remember if even if some of my schoolmates were watching it or not. There might have been one or two, but it was. Very much me watching it at home on a night by myself. And my dad used to come in. So back in them days, they didn't do a lot of box office. It used to be on, like, um, my favourite, my favourite ever wrestling moment. My, my missus just texted me saying there's, uh, there's COVID in now. Year 11's at school, so no year 11's at school tomorrow. Um, when Undertaker came back... As the American badass, which would have been 1998, and it would have been, it would have been, would have been 1998. Hello. Yeah, I've just said to you. Are they off for a week? Love you. Um, yeah, judge, is that what it was? Judgment Day. It was Iron Man match. Um, Rock. Triple H. But which, by the way, was a tremendous match. One of my favourite matches of all time. But all for the past month, they did that little... They did the little um, 
stuff in the background with um there was like it was very much like the village have you seen the film the village with it was like little it was like little girls in old suits uh, old sort of like victorian outfits and stuff it was really weird really weird like children playing and stuff and i can remember me shouting and then my dad going to work yeah titan tron teasers and then my dad coming to work early because he used to work in what would have been he would have been at post office by then he used to be a jockey but he would have been at royal mail by then and back in the day they used to be up at like four o'clock for work and i can remember him getting up and he he hates wrestling now he hates it now he can't tolerate it with ralphie even um he turned around and said to me, "You're a fucking, you're a fucking idiot." Because I would have been 14, 15. I was going, "Yes, yes." And he used to always say, "It's fake, it's fake." And I was like, "Yeah, but it'll fucking hurt." Especially because one of my favourite wrestlers was obviously Jeff Hardy. But the stuff he did was fucking nuts. My eldest isn't into it anymore, but was a big Chris Jericho and AJ Styles fan for a couple of years. How old's your youngest? It's weird because I, I didn't try and get Ralphie into it. I kind of thought it'd be cool because of, of his age and what he'd want to do, but I wasn't watching it at all at the time. And then he just, he just absolutely, they've got Ollie McBurney, by the way. Um, he just absolutely took it off. Playing, oh shit, playing toy-wise. And then from that, from that, we, um, we started watching it. Yeah, Jeff's still going, we watch it, we watch it. We watch. We have to be fair. We haven't watched it for about a month or so. I kind of catch up on Twitter and just watch a couple of clips and stuff. Right. Less of wrestling talk, just for two minutes, just while I sort this out. Because Ollie McBurney is oh shit. Ollie McBurney is um. Yeah, the Hardy Boys were massive. The Hardy Boys were massive for me. During that time of him, them, Edge, Christian, Dudley boys, just fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I keep showing, Ralphie loves the, um, when the Hardy boys came back for that um, ladder match. For the tag team titles. Oh, they're going to go 2-0. Oh, shit the bed, boys. Shit the bed. Hardcore Holly, yeah. So that was my era. And then, is it Buddy? Was it Buddy Holly? Someone kept... Was it Buddy Holly? Yeah. Look up, we haven't got Van, Nigel van der Sman, lads, and look what's happening. Testified, my brother. That's what annoyed me about my dad. Because, like, watching that... But he never watched it. Never watched a minute of it. And it was like... Do you just come and see what... Jeff Hardy and Edge and Christian and... Edge doing, like, a twist... Um, Christian... Who, was, who did he do... A, who did Jeff Hardy do a twist of fate to? He did a twist of fate to somebody at stupid height. Brilliant. Hardcore, that's a hardcore. He's dead? Hardcore Holly's died, died, didn't he? Because at the time, the hardcore... The hardcore... Look at Ishan, 2-0 down at halftime. I know, I know, I know. There's not a great deal I can do, buddy, right now. Apart from pray. A bit of magic from Bayez. Ishmael goal. We've got one, we've got one. Good start. We're reminiscing, Ishan. Right, I'm just going to pause it so I can read. Was it Buddy? I can't fucking remember. Crash Holly's died though, hasn't he? Yeah, I saw uh, the APA when they had that scrap in the bar. Because the, the hardcore and also the hardcore title turned in a bit into like the 24-7 title that they have now, don't, didn't it? Where it was literally, they would bring a ref and try and beat people up in pubs and stuff. That was brilliant. And that's where Crash Holly was really good at. 
I'm sure he like took it off people by just trying to beat them up in the um, in like the uh, like the corridors and in pubs and stuff. But to be fair, between like me and Ralphie, it's been a really a really good bond. Um, wrestling, like I'll often will go if 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 he's been good. Like it used to be on a Wednesday, but during lockdown, not lockdown, but when shops were up and Amy would need to sleep before work, and he's obviously he's noisy and stuff. So we'd say I'd say right, we're going to we're going to Smiths, get a McDonald's, and get a couple of wrestling toys. And he used to absolutely. No, he's taking it off us. He's taking it off us. I've got nothing to bring on as well. Apart from Chenk. Oh, no, boys. Is that what it was? 88th minute. Look at his sham. <laughs> Get in. Oh, shit. No. So, yeah, we, we go and buy toys and we still do. We still do. He loves Matt Riddle at the moment. He absolutely loves Matt Riddle. Yeah, Statman Ralphie loves the uh, of the match with Undertaker. I show him clips, show him clips of um, Wrestle. I always show him clips of WrestleMania when Jeff Hardy, because that's like my favourite. This is what I mean. Like you never know what's going to happen at a WrestleMania. Like at a WrestleMania, imagine being at WrestleMania. Like lads our age who who had the Attitude Era and been there. And then the Hardy Boys came back. That do you remember the um, the new day? Are, are talking about it, saying there's a new there's a new entrant into the group into the match. It was a triple threat, wasn't it? And then yeah, triple threat. And then it was going to become a fatal four way. And then all of a sudden they announced, and all of a sudden the music just you think it's going to be them, and then the next minute the music comes on, just like. The noise is just insane. Same with like Edge coming back in like Royal Rumble. Yeah, Ralphie loves. See, I wasn't around when I wasn't watching when CM Punk was doing it, but I kind of the bits that I've watched, I've really enjoyed watching. And then Ralph, Ralphie, I think Ralphie kind of likes him because I like him. So CM Punk's on his list of toys that he hasn't got. He's got like sixty. He will have easy. 50 wrestlers now that we've built up second hand and buying over the last sort of like two years and stuff. Keeps asking when Kane's going to be back, but there's, there's no chance of that. He loves Keith Lee as well. He wanted Keith Lee as a wrestler and he didn't have him, and they had Angelo Dawkins. And he uh, he bought Angelo Dawkins and then just uses Keithley as it, and he absolutely loves it. No, he doesn't have British Bulldog. He's not. He won't be too familiar with British Bulldog, to be honest. I never warmed to British Bulldog. He was a tad, just a tad before my time. And I think the issue with British Bulldog is that um, he was like Canadian, wasn't he? <laughs> was he Canadian? Yeah. What about William Regal? Brilliant. Yeah, he was brilliant, wasn't he? He was a brilliant character. Goldust. Ralphie's first wrestler that we bought for him was Goldust because he loved Goldust. And now he hates him because he knows that he was shit. Yeah, Blackpool. Yeah, William Regal's from Blackpool. Do you remember an episode of Raw when... Uh, 
there was an episode of Raw when he was reading Shakespeare. William Regal was reading Shakespeare, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin just came down <laughs> and gave him a stunner and went like that, and then walked out the ring. <laughs> Yeah, he was a good character, wasn't he? Mamacita. Uh, see, me and you, Elias, would have worked well because I was always Jeff. I was always Jeff. I can't believe, but while, while we've been talking about wrestling, um, we've lost our unbeaten run. Dudley boys, yeah, they were good. APA were good as well. Is that what it was? 57. Ishan, you should be sat next to me. You live in India though, don't you, bud? You're a little bit too far away from me. This is why I need the Sochi serve to go well, because this one's been brilliant, just so I can chat to you guys a little bit more. Yeah, Jay, he was brilliant. Uh, Chris Benoit in terms of like it's Bret Hart standard in terms of graft and technique and someday yeah <laughs> yeah that's not a bad shout like this me talk it and then just have just have Ishan just doing the just doing the actual work for me Well, you'll be up for that, Ishan. You do that. You do the work for me. It probably, to be honest, like I said, it probably be it'll be um, it'll be better labour because um, it uh, Ishan will uh, spend more time concentrated on it than me. But you're Ishan, where would you live? Because you're in, you're, you're kind of stuck in India at the moment, though, are you? Yeah, that uh, Dave, that WrestleMania, the, that was brutal. That match, wasn't it? It was absolutely brutal. Fucking one, one, we're fucking off, off the boil here. Have you watched the documentary, Lewis? Watch the documentary. Bret Hart documentary. Uh, which involves the Montreal screw job. Absolutely amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, Bret was a bit of a twat, and he th I think he thought he was bigger and better than what he was. In terms of not in terms of his craft, because he was an amazing wrestler, but in terms of what he was worth. Vince always knew he had people like Sean. Stone Cold coming through. He would have had his eye on Triple H. Um, the Rock wouldn't have been too far off. He'd have been maybe three years off, so he, he would have maybe been on the radar in terms of recruiting Undertaker, Kane, and then to put up with his kind of I don't know. Bret Hart's documentary is very I think very one sided. Go on, Murchy. Baruch. Yeah, it's getting. Canadian, yeah, sorry mate, I thought you were. I thought you were. Ralphie loves Shawn Michaels' theme tune. <laughs> Louis, that's brilliant. I remember watching them. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Dave. Now, like, you can't go through an episode. If you go on, once you go onto the internet, it's it's all there, isn't it? I think that's what made it good. Like, you didn't know, literally didn't know as well, because we were behind, obviously, in UK. We didn't know what was going on, apart from the live, obviously, the live shows. 
We didn't know what was going on pretty much from week to week. Oh, Vandersman. DX, yeah. Uh, DX, I made a cushion in... Um, what would it be called? In it? I can't remember what it would be called now. <laughs> what, was my, what was it called at school? What's like sewing and stuff called at school? When you have to do it. I can't think it was called. What was it called? Textiles. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good lad. Yeah, we um I designed a road dog and uh X Pac uh textiles cushion. Black cushion with paw prints for road dog and then X Pac on the back with lime green lime green um He died, didn't he? One of the guys out of Legion of Doom. He died so last week or two weeks ago. I don't know where it is. It wasn't pretty. Both, yeah. Was it Animal? Good job you good job you lads like wrestling, innit? Fucking hell. This would have been a I can't believe pretty much everyone who's commenting it all likes wrestling as well. I suppose it was just the era. I think a lot of you are, are around my age. So yeah, well hopefully it well it won't be this year. Well next year we'll go watch them in England on sort of like their little tours that they do, because Ralphie will love that. I'm just, I'll just save up for merch. I'm a sucker for a t-shirt. I've got a gold dust t-shirt. I paid about two quid for. There's a really good shop. It's WWE Euro shop. It's a really good shop to get you cheap, like hoodies. And they always have, especially when characters bring out a new catchphrase. And then the old catchphrase is obviously old. Um... And then Gold, when Goldust went to a AEW, that, well, not when, you know what I mean, when he's, was it Rhodes? What's he called? Dustin? Is he called Dustin? Excuse me, when he went there, I think I got his shirt for like four quid. I've got a Kurt Angle shirt saying, you suck, Ralphie absolutely loves it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's something good about that. Me and Ralph, to be fair, me and Ralph used to wrestle all the time in the old house, and we haven't done it as much in this house. And then the last two nights, he's asked to do it, and we've done it. And it ended up me storming out of the bedroom last night. But it kicked off a massive, massive argument between me and him. So we have... Um, our windowsills are quite low in the bedroom and they're probably only desk height so he jumps off he, he wanted to do a table match and he, <laughs> he he put we have four big pillows in our man and him his bed and we, he put them on the floor and that's the table and the idea is that you've got to put someone onto the pillows sorry got to put someone onto the pillows and uh, I was laid on the pillows not on it not through it but on it and then he was prepared to jump off the bed on me and the hat the floor's quite hard in our in our bedroom and i was like no mate don't do it don't do it don't do it and he just ran and just put his hands in the air and just put his feet and he got me he got me there at the side of the chin off the bed like a proper run and jump and i just went right i'm done i'm done and i, I left he might be a decent wrestler to be fair because he's absolutely fear absolutely fearless dustin Rhodes, that's it That's it. Got it. Oh, thank you. Do 
Yeah, so he got me in the jaw. Yes, Linus, you keep you keep doing that, buddy. Thanks for stopping him, mate. Look, <laughs> sorry, case. <laughs> Uh, you must be the only one, case. I try not to talk about wrestling too much. I'm a bit. I think I'm a bit more rem, just reminiscent now. We're getting a bit older. I just like to revel in like nineties football and stuff. Not when I was so much a kid, but like my so sort of like teenage years and football manager and that kind of stuff. Is that what Dusty Rhodes said? Did anyone watch The Undertaker? Did anyone watch The Undertaker um, documentary? I paid for like the channel just so I could watch that. You're lucky, mate. No, Mirko, it's like we we try to get him into Frozen and he sings songs and he just. Um, He's just very boyish, but that's just that's not through us. Like even the rest, even the wrestling thing. Um, I bought him a wrestling ring because I I made him watch a clip once. I think of Kane, or I think I'd gone through a little spell of just watching YouTube videos of stuff that I liked. You know, like Bret Hart, Kane, Undertaker, the Iron Man match when Undertaker, there's just stuff like that. And then he kind of grasped it, and he does love Disney. He just, he's never really got into Frozen, but, like, he's, he does a lot of singing and dancing around the house. I'll be very, I'll be very lucky, well, me and Amy will be very lucky, if he ends up loving football as much as me and Amy do. That would be, that would be the carrot. Which I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna. Maybe not as much as me and Amy, but, um, yeah. We <laughs> have four youngest DF case. Oh, that's brutal, bud. He likes, uh, to be fair, he likes to see, he, he don't mind the singing and dancing stuff. He just, for some reason, Frozen's just never... Frozen's never been one that he's ever really got into. I don't know why. Um, he does. He does love us a good singing a dance. He used to love us a little. Um, oh, it's not Disney. Uh, oh God, what's that film with all? It's got Matthew McConaughey. As the lead character, they all play as animals. Sing. He used to love Sing. Oof, no. He's into Amy's. Because we've watched Harry Potter over the last month. And Amy's. We bought Amy. I bought Amy a fair few things Harry Potter wise for, for a birthday. He's, um, his Harry Potter knowledge is growing. And he's, he wanted to watch it the other night. It, it, there's no chance he'll he'll stand and he'll watch a Harry Potter film. Get him. No, I've not watched that. I've not watched Andre the Giant or uh, Dark Side of the Ring. Not a recommendation for Alfie. Yeah, he's probably seen worse. He's obsessed with Pennywise as well. He loves Pennywise. Anything to do with Pennywise. Get in, BS. What is it? I'll have a little. I'll have a little Luke. Hey, 
Hey, Jamie's in. Sorry, Jamie. The chat is going absolutely mentally. I'm kind of reading stuff and I'm nearly, a, I'm nearly through a full bottle of Prosecco as well, so bear with. Bear with. Ah, that's good. That's good, Mirko. That's the scary. Ralphie loves the scary stuff. Ralphie, what a what a strike five hundred man that is. Um, Ralphie loves Ralphie loves Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good, uh, Jamie. I'm good. I haven't spoke for you for a few months, so nice to have you back, mate. Hope um, hope life's been good in these last few months, buddy. Oh, how old are you, Matty? Shit, sorry. Um, I'm 35 in February. Life has been utter shite. I think it's been utter shite for a lot of people, buddy, but hopefully it's not been... Life has been shite for me in terms of work and money, but I imagine a lot of other people have had it worse off. Nice to have you back in the stream, though, buddy. Bandishman, get in. <laughs> Reading and managing, cheers. <laughs> Sad. I'm to be honest, I'm struggling on dark mode a little bit. I've got dark mode on because it's the new, it's the new YouTube stream studio, and it's it's not good for my eyes. To be honest, I'm not picking it up as well. That may be a factor. It would have been nice to finish this though unbeaten, but never mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, 35 next, so... February, February the 27th. Don't forget, the boots, the boots are coming back on and I can't wait because I've got a bit fat. I've got a bit of competitive, bit of competitiveness that I need to get out. I mean, I can't do it coaching and managing at the moment, so yeah. I'll try and get Amy to video a few highlights. I've been playing in the over 35s games. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be me case, to be honest, if I shaved as well. February 14th for Mirko. Good month. Good solid month. Right, we're three points clear. Excuse me, I'm going to yawn. Right, we need to just focus a little bit here, because Galatasaray are right up our asses. Head to head. Head to head with fine because he dicked him 5 0 and drew. Get triple gifts. Yeah, Valentine boy, isn't he? Your beard will probably be no worse than mine, uh, though, Case. <laughs> Have you, Jamie? Good lad. Good lad. No plans to get FM21 yet, though. <laughs> no worries, that man. Thanks for stopping in, mate. I think streams will go a little bit quiet now for FM. Me and the missus have been chatting about, because obviously... um. I'm streaming in, in Ralphie's room at the moment. It's not ideal because Ralphie has to then sleep in Amy's bed. Amy's bed. Our <laughs> bed. And it's a bit, oh, a bit shit for Amy because she works away two nights a week. She's got loads of stuff to do. So, Oh, no. Big Nigel's gone for the season, lads. We won't see Nigel Vandersman again. 
What a horrendous way to finish this series. Um, so I'm thinking of moving the stream downstairs and taking all my equipment downstairs, which is an absolute nightmare, but just makes it a little bit more, little bit more doable. Ralphie can be in his own bed. Oh lordy, oh lordy indeed, that's a big loss. But I think, I think we can just scrape by. We've got the circus semi-final, Oof, we've got Bursa Spa. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Especially when we've got the um, the run on Galabric with the head-to-head. Uh, -head. I've seen, uh, so it'll probably be FM21, the next big stream will come out to be honest. Thanks for stopping in, though, buddy. Safe drive in the morning, because I think you uh, you drive a little bit, don't you, in the morning? Right, second leg. Uh, let's do that one. Fucking hell, Troy. Boom. Done. Oh, smudge. Oh, he's on the bench. Can't believe all you lads playing the old version. As much as I love it, and I, like the 97, 98, and I would probably do Champ Man 01 or 2, but I don't know how lads do it. Once the game's gone, it's it's kind of gone for me, if you know what I mean. Like, even this save, I can't... Like, once the new game's out, I thought, ooh, you know, like... An interesting t tweak on this story would be going to Galatasaray, but once the new game's out, it's just the new game. I can never go back on a game. Two thousand eighty nine. Brilliant. Oh, Recoba. Recoba, what a guy. Tackle. Yeah, just feel it out of my nostalgia, but in my comp, can't handle the legend packs. I feel it, Migion. What's that? No. I just hope I can get to Canada before I. Is it touch and go, Mirko? Whether you can get there or not. I can't do it, Jimmy. I can't. I just can't do it. Obviously, it would be no good for my uh, YouTube channel, me going back to uh, Football Manager 2012, would it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, once the game's... Once it's done for me, I, I very rarely go back. I used to go back to Champ Manager 97, 98 when I was a kid just because it had run quicker than the Champ Managers after, sort of, like, 2000.
David, thank you, sir, for being in pretty much from the well, you were from the start. Much appreciated. I apologise we couldn't do the Invincible season, a run in the Champions League. Thank you for um, thank you for coming, buddy. Much appreciated. <laughs> Look who's in. Look who's in on the last stream. Erdam Oskan. Look who's in. We've been talking about you all night. How are you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing good. We've had a little bit of a heartbreak. We didn't we didn't bother too much about the invincible season, but we had a bit of a a bit of a heartbreak in the Champions League. We got screwed over a little bit. Just a little bit. I didn't get angry, but I think I probably... I won't have been far off shedding a tear. We've been talking about you a lot, actually, heard them tonight. All good. Right, that's the end of my bottle. I never miss it doing fine. <laughs> All good. Just just the appreciation on people like you jumping in and following the channel and buying me buying me this shirt and stuff like that and just how much it's done this series has done for the channel. Not in terms of views and stuff, but um just using it as a point for streams and like the majority of lads who are sort of like Patreons on but not Patreons that follow the channel religiously that are in the streams every week and stuff and this has been a big part of it and obviously you were a big part of it and then buying buying me a shirt and stuff it's quite sad that it's end it's quite sad in a way that it's ending <laughs> yeah a little bit of him yeah um and i could quite happily play this save for months and months and months It would have been nice for it for me to bring it to a, a better end. I've done what I've done what I intended to do with the save in terms of when I started out dominating Turkish football and doing well in Europe. We won the Europa League, which I think Fenerbahce fans won't be expecting that over the next ten years. No disrespect to people like Dr. Benjamin or whatever he's funny he's called. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for that, Jamie. I'm getting I am getting a little bit tired of the, the Twitter the Twitter bollocks that you have to kind of put up with a little bit. And be nice to people. It, to be honest, didn't don't get you anywhere. It don't get you in. It'd be nice to. I've I've kind of realised. Be nice to. Be nice to the big YouTubers doesn't doesn't make your channel any worse off. It doesn't make your channel any even any better. To be honest. So be nice to people for the sake of being nice. There's people like Lelujo, who. Who, to be fair to him, has been pretty pretty good to me. I've asked him questions numerous times. Um, about stuff, about questions, about stuff, and he always answers. And he pr he promoted me this time last year. It was in September last year, and I got about six hundred subs from it. And um, a lot of them people have have maybe stayed from then. So, but then he's he's completely different content with me because he doesn't swear. <laughs> he doesn't swear, and. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a bit of a different, a little bit of a different generation, to be honest. Session only replacing. Right, we made it through to the final. See, there you go, Case. Awesome. Can't, 
I can't deal with there's so much cringiness at the moment with certain certain not creators, but just how it is. It's like well, like when the FM stuff come out, and like, I've got to be thankful because FM are giving me a game for being involved in something uh, in lockdown. They promised us a game, and to be fair, the, the media team are good, but just the amount of lads that are wanking off. Like because in FM twenty one you can do a hand shit, you can do you can throw a bottle. And like I was on York City Save on Thursday and my left back is tracking a centre forward into the penalty area and he just stopped running. Just stopped running and he scored. And it's like, well I'd wish to sort things out, but the bigger YouTubers seem to just dive on the licking ass licking ass a little bit. And it annoy it really annoys me. But the best thing too is just to not 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 respond. Not respond and just keep quiet. Unfilter Yeah, I don't I don't I, I don't want to go the down the route of being being, being the absolute dick and me just slagging people off and stuff like that, because it's not where I want to be like uh at times Dr. Benji's been pretty decent to me and I've asked him a couple for a bit of advice and a couple of times he's once he'd never responded another time he was a bit blase and then one time he was I can't remember what it was about and he was quite good and then a couple of other guys from WeStream FM have been um Nerdphonic's been really good to me he helped me build he built the PC for me he um if I ask him a question he'll always respond um Fox in the Box we disagree on lots of stuff, but if I ask him a question, he'll he'll probably give me a truthful answer. <laughs> I'm not being a dick. I don't mind being a dick, to be honest. I don't mind being a dick. At least I'm honest. I think the flip side of sometimes n not being honest is when you're just trying to be nice just for the sake of being nice. And also, just for for small for smaller YouTubers as well, I I, I kind of want to help them in a some ways, and I see things that they're doing, and it's just like don't do it, and they just don't want to know. They don't want to know, or they get the back up when I kind of comment on stuff. Right, what a cheat! Boom. Yeah, he's Watford. Lee's Watford, yeah. That's a uh, fox in a box. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes you can ask a question to people. Like, so, I think when I asked Dr. Benji to review a video, and to be fair to, to, be fair to Ben, he'll probably get not hundreds, but you'll get multiple of these of small YouTubers, and I was probably really small at the time, probably less than a thousand, asking for his opinion, and he gave a really, yeah, lazy, you know, just a bit vague, and I was really after a little bit of feedback and stuff, and um, and then when I say stuff to Lee, so when the big stuff about me moving to Twitch and doing stuff on Twitch, Lee was really up front with me, because some people say, oh, just, just go for it, mate, just go for it. And I don't really want that. I hate that. Just people scared to say stuff for this. Not for upsetting me, because he wouldn't have upset me. But give me a bit of brutal... Brutal honesty. And Lee, to be fair to Lee, he gave me that. And I was quite appreciative of it. Because it it stopped me from doing it. And looking back on it, it was definitely the right the right decision. They're not all big and bad. Lo uh, Loki Doki is is a bit of a loose cannon, any compared to everyone else. He's not really in the click, but he's 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 pretty good. He would, I imagine, he would respond. I think he did respond to like a couple of questions that I've asked him and stuff. And I'm always trying to like Luke, Luke at Omega Gaming. Um, I always ask him, especially on stuff how he edits and how he. Just thumbnails and stuff. I always ask, and he's he always responds. And I'd like I like to do that for people that are getting. I like to do that for people that are smaller than me, 
but they kind of have their own little clicks at the moment and it's a bit frustrating because I see them making mistakes that not so much I made but mistakes that you see that people are making you know just following just like sharing people's content when sharing people's content when you you can tell that you haven't watched it like there's someone who shared someone's content today and he, the guy just started and you don't want to go down the route of sharing people's content that you don't enjoy if I share someone's content people sh people will probably know that it's genuine because I really enjoy it I won't just share it because it's someone who's decided to do football manager videos and someone was someone was trying to get to 500 subs today and someone put oh, I've subbed to you using my old account and I was like well what's what's it was super swan and he was 497 and he wanted to get to 500 and this guy was like oh I've I've you I've subbed you using my old account and it's like well what's what's the point in that and he was like well it's my personal account and it was like well you're not going to watch him twice are you you're not going to watch him on your youtube account on your personal account i just thought it was really bizarre and it's like it's not it's not the way to go just getting people to sub for the sake of subbing because you won't you won't stick to it that's my ra that's my ramble anyway it's not all not all the big guys are bad some are pricks but then little guys are pricks and I'm, I'm quite happy i'm quite happy to be a prick Cheers, Jamie. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Hopefully, catch up. Uh, FM21 is not too far away. Marucci has been tremendous this season. I'm glad. I'm a little bit happy that I sold, I sold Haaland and gave Marucci just that little bit of time. <laughs> what the one that I did, Mirko? On last year's FM. Oh, Marucci. He's absolutely guided that beautifully into the bottom corner. That's his thirty first. What's his best ever season? Twenty four, thirty, twenty seven. 29, 20, 37. Oh, he's on 37. 31. Okay. He's got 37 to beat. Is that what it was? Nice. Yeah, I, done many, I don't think I've done an experiment this year. No. I did... Uh, I tried to simulate 100 years into the future, and I looked at it, and it was really boring. I got to 75 years, and it erred, and I went into it, and it was really boring, so I didn't bother. Excuse me, I didn't bother doing it because it was really boring. It'd be good to know, though, boys. What um, it'd be good to know what other FMers content. I know, like Jace likes um, Omega Luke and stuff like that. It'd be good to know what kind of content you boys like. Because, like, to be fair to, like, Luja, for the first three seasons of his non-lethal engine, I, like, watch every episode. And I absolutely love it. So I don't really get into the watch streams. Like, like Fox in the Box is mostly streaming. And I just don't have the time to watch two hours of streams three times a week. And Loki, yeah. I moved away from Loki this year just purely because it was a bit of a bit of journeyman and it just got a bit boring. I'd like him to do a one club save, which I think he's planning again. Um, he said something about it in his video about doing stuff for uh, raising some money because when he did his Altrigham save a few years ago, I absolutely loved that.
And I don't, I don't know if Loki... I think Loki understands that sometimes he maybe needs to take a break from the same stuff. Whereas Kev is really stubborn, the loser, and he'll just do long non-league to Premier League every year because it works. But I think... I'd be surprised if Loki does a journeyman this year. I'd be surprised if he does one this year. I ah, see you like that, Jace, the Apollo one. And that never got me going, the Apollo one. Not your cup of tea. No, I, I do get, I do get, uh, to be fair, I get, but I think it's not so much I get bored of the career. I think I get involved in it because it's a new game. And I watch so much content and then a few months in, I'm so involved in my stuff that when it gets to like chilling out time, I need to step away from FM a little bit. Yeah, he was quite clever to be fair to Kit, uh, Casey, he was, he was quite clever with that. I am planning. <laughs> this is really, really shit and really stupid. But FM, FM 22. It will be a like a home, like Lelujo series. Uh, my, I'm going to make a club local to me. I'm going to make them up, and we're going to we're going to go through the leagues. But you've only got a year. You've just got a year to to wait for that. It'd be interesting to see if that thoughts. It'd be interesting to see if that thoughts still in my head. It's been in my head for about four months. So we'll see. I struggle to watch people, especially streaming. It's really weird. Um, if I had to choose out of content-wise, stream or YouTube video, I'd choose YouTube video all day long. Um, but in terms of channel, it's streaming. I really enjoy streaming. I'd prefer to stream than record and edit. And at the same time, streaming is so much better for talking to... Like it's, We've got like 13, 12, 13 people in here now. And it's like 25 to 12. And it's so much better than being stuck recording, editing, and not really talking to anyone. <laughs> I imagine this shot's better than me. I'm good when I take my time, but unfortunately, sometimes this has been the thing for FM20. Content has kind of taken over a little bit in terms of rushing. And that's a lesson that I've learned. My York City save has progressed a little bit over the last couple of weeks just because I've been able to spend a little bit more time on it than what I normally do. Could win the league today. Basic Tass in the final as well. Well, to be fair, Matt, if we are fair, Luja did cheat. Uh, yeah, yeah, true to be fair, he did, yeah. Thank you, Isha. I've never tried to fake stuff in uh, YouTube, but I never try and script stuff. Like that's the reason why I'd never do like skits and little scenes at start of episodes and stuff. It's just not me. I just I, my idea was that I just want to document, not for me, for people just to watch how I played and. Be as original as I can and not be, sh not be sh stupid. I think I make stupid decisions. I make stupid decisions in the games in terms of signings and tactics and stuff. Um, I never go down the route of trying to win leagues by looking at tactics and what works in F in a certain version. I'll always try and have a real life, especially tactics. 
I'll always try and have a real life idea behind it. Put that, put it in, put it in. Parrot, get in. But yeah, a few people who have been new to the channel over the last six months have kind of, their things have been, they've liked me swear, they've liked not so much swearing, but genuine genuine reactions to games and and stuff like that. But then I, th I kind of think if you're full time like Ben, like Dr. Benji and Lucio churning out content and stuff, you have to put that. Like there has been numerous times, there'll be numerous times when I've not really wanted to record, and I do record. Um, but for like Ben and like uh, Kev, it's their job. And sometimes you like when you're at work, you have to be fake, don't you? You kind of have to be, especially Ben, because obviously he's had like a few mental health issues, and I, I bet at, at, at some points he's not wanted to record and he's put stuff out because it's his job and he's got he's got a family and stuff. Whereas for me, it's a little bit more laid back and. Majority of the time, I'm absolutely happy to record, and especially now I've got so much time in the day, it's been it's been easy for me to record, and I've really enjoyed it. But you guys will know the the saves, how much you enjoy a a, a, a series, how much you enjoy a year of FM, a game of FM, is solely dependent on how on how you've enjoyed a save that you've played. If that makes sense. Right, I'm just going to go for a little wee wee. Yeah, I never got into that um, Mirko, to be fair. The uh, Grease one. I do like his non Well, to be fair, his favourite save that I did was the non eating one. There was so much planning behind it and stuff. I absolutely loved that non eating one. It was a fast. The, 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 the toilet is next door. Like, literally, that's the wall. The toilet's there. So I don't have, I don't have far to go. He is on, a, on for a hatch. He might need to score one, you know. He's done pretty well, hasn't he, Parrot? He's missed a penalty bind. Ooh, Burak injured. Gallery drawing. Taliso, finish it off. Oh, good save. Oh, parrot.
hopefully. So, Emerson, I'm going to miss this tactic as well. I've been around YouTube. See, I didn't even know YouTube. Well, I didn't know you. I didn't watch YouTube until about 2015. And then I started watching garden, started watching garden videos. And then started watching a bit of Teach. I used to love Teach's YouTube videos. Then watched Dr. Benji, uh, Luja, and stuff. Um, but I've subscribed to a lot of smaller people this last week or so. I'm going to really let watch a lot of smaller YouTube channels and see how they do. Rather than watching the big boys. It was never me. I wish I'd have started it three or four years ago, but. Right, we've survived a little bit of a scare there. We might be champions here, you know. No, not yet. Nearly there. We're nearly there. That one game. One game. Right, let's win the league. <laughs> this is a good thing about YouTube. There's so many of you from different countries and different ideas and different, not different ideas, but how you watch content and like if I was on Twitch, like so right now I've got the main people are talking. Uh, Merco, who's in Barbados or Dominican Republic or somewhere, I've got. Jason, who's in Greece, and I've got Ishan, who's in India. Whereas Twitch is kind of you, Dominican Republic. It's absolutely brilliant. How far? How, it's not that far, is it? I think that's where I wanted you to be. It was a, a bucket list of thing of me to take my dad. To Barbados to watch cricket, a test match, England versus West Indies at Barbados. That's sort of like a thing that I'll probably never, ashamedly, never get to do. Yeah, just to watch cricket. I'd love to take my, grad, my, my uh, dad to cricket in Barbados. And a southerner, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think whether you're only two UK guys in here. Right, let's get this bloody title wrapped up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not massive now, but back in the day, um, as a father-son thing, we went in the 90s to watch Yorkshire a lot. We went to watch a lot of test, test matches. Um, grew up around it a lot. Um... I wouldn't say he's like a ta tactically aware of cricket. He's probably dropped off for the last sort of like ten years. But when I was a kid, we watched. We probably went to more cricket matches than football matches. To be fair, we used to. Have, we had a season ticket at Yorkshire, so we go watch a lot of Yorkshire stuff. Um, go lot watch a lot of Test matches. Going to watch like England versus India, England versus Pakistan at Headingley. My dad's from Bradford. Um, so we used to go to Headley a lot. We used to watch Bradford City a lot, football. Um, but going, going there a lot. Sachin Tendulkar was my first favourite. No, he's Lancashire. Ishan. <laughs> Mum English, Dad Welsh, maternal mother Cypriot. Brilliant. Jace, that's a beautiful mix. Right, 
Right, so Ishan, um, this is, so near me, we're in quite a, not a middle class area, but there's a lot of middle class, like, private schools. There's a school called Ampleforth, and we went to watch India versus England under 17s um, at Ampleforth. So I would have been young, I would have been about 10 years old. Um, it's like a, a private school, very like one of the best in the country. And England under 17s and Indian under 17s were playing. And um, I went wearing my Pak- <laughs> I went wearing my Pakistan um, one day shirt. Um, so the Indian cricketers wanted me to go in the nets when I was younger. So how would I would have, would have been? I would have been about 10, 11. And they put me in the nets and they were bowling at me. And um, got like loads of autographs and stuff. And then around the boundary, we were watching. It was sort of like a, a cricket where there was cars parked. There was no stands about. It was literally like you park around the park around the outsides. And um, I went and got this English guy's autograph. And I turned to my dad and I said, I have no idea. Because obviously I knew the Yorkshire players like Darren Goff, Craig White, Darren Lehman, Sachin Tendulkar players like that I never knew who this player was and I turned to my dad and he he saw autograph because I had an autograph Yorkshire County Cricket autograph book and he was like I don't, I don't know I don't know who it is so he said go and ask him who he is so I asked him who he was and the guy's mum and dad shouted they were next to us in deck chairs I always remember they were next to us deck chairs watching their son field and they said um, that's my son um, he's Andrew Flintoff so yeah I watched Andrew Flintoff. He signed an autograph when he was 17. And his mum and dad told me who he was. And it turned out it was, uh, yeah, Andrew Flintoff. There you go. Right, dear cat, I can go in there. Do we go... Let's get Toss on. We have to play a bit of Toss on, don't we? Let's put him on there as a poacher. Down to bare bones here, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It is a good story. It is a good story. Yeah, I remember. It's weird that I remember it like that. And we used to go watch cricket. Me and my dad used to go watch cricket a lot at Headingley. So yeah, that'd be nice. My dad was obsessed with West Indies. He has. He always buys the hats. What are the hats that the West Indies lads wear? Like the big, big round ones. He's obsessed with wearing them. So yeah, that that would have been nice to. He's still like he's not. He's not dead. <laughs> he's still alive. But the chances of me having enough money to spare. To take my dad to um, Barbados to watch the test matches. A little bit slim. Yeah, Courtney Walsh. Um, Ambrose. What was he called? Devon Ambrose? Brian Lara. Chander Paul. There's an, op- there's an opener that I'm missing around that era. And it's going to bug me. I don't know how many of you lot like cricket. No, not Viv Richards. He was a little bit before me. Um... Hey, Matty. What are you doing? We're talking about cricket, mate. Chander Paul. Yeah, there was someone else. Chander Paul was one of my favourites. There's someone else, and it's doing me head in. I'll have to Google. I used to play a lot of cricket. Rolling a dice. Yeah, good good days then, Matt. I used to go with my dad. I used to be like 10, 12 years old and English England fans would be blowing up uh, sex dolls and stuff and banging them around. Pakistanis used to be like banging them back. It was, it was brilliant. But I can't think of... I can't think of who that bloody player is now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bug me. It's going to bug me. I used to play a game of dice 
with uh, cricket. So you used to write all the cricketers out, two teams, England, West Indies, used to roll a dice. Uh, one, two, and three was runs. Four was a run, obviously a four. Five was out, and six was a buy. And I used to play that all day long. I used to play it all day long. That's how sad I was as a kid. I used to write it out. Same with football. I used to do it with football as well. No, it's not Sawan. Oh, it's going to annoy me now. West Indies. I think we're going to win the league championship here. And I'm typing in West Indies cricket team. I'm going to put 1990s. Let's see what we get. Brian Lara, of course. Right, let's just see this game out. Because so we're going to be champions here, boys. Bayez. It'd be mint for Cheng Tosun to get a goal. He hasn't. I'm, I was adamant that was a goal. Galatasaray getting beat 4 1 by um, Bursa Spar as well. Here we go. I used to like Jimmy Adams. But he weren't an opener, was he? Oh, I think it might have been just Chanderpaul, you know. There's no one on there. I've got a list of England cricket players. No, sorry, West Indies cricket players. By the way, we've just won the league. Damn squid and I'm looking at it in, uh, West Indian cricket players. It must have been Chanderpaul. Carl Hooper. It might have been Carl Hooper. I did like Carl Hooper. Champions, away away, we've done it, just not how I wanted to do it, to be honest, but, yeah, I think it was maybe Chanderpaul then, Jimmy Adams was cap captain for a bit, wasn't he, <laughs> it's just not ended, uh, Jason, I want it to end, to be honest, but, To be fair, the eleven million pound that Fenerbahce have given us is absolutely disgraceful. I think I would tweak tactic, play two up, and get some better central midfielders. That's what I'd probably do. I think that's what I would do. Right, that's the wine gone. I've done a full bottle of wine on stream. Um, I don't know, mate. To be honest, Mirko, this is the series is finished. It's finished because I really want to focus on York City. And doing another season just drags it out a little bit more when I don't think I'm going to make that great improvement. I'm starting to think that doing... that business was not good because of that letting Harlan go to be fair even though Marucci <laughs> Marucci has been an absolute beast where is he where is he where is he I think by the way FM21 Marucci is going to be available after season one. You will get him transfer listed, no problem. Because I because Lazio aren't playing him, so I think you'll get him easy next season. I 
<laughs> Jesse's singing. Right, we've got a final. Where are, where are we? Right, we've got two games left. Cup final, basic task. Oh, second half, Matty. Second half, fucking hell. Yes, Mirko getting Murucci back for Sochi. I can, I can feel it. I can feel that. I think we need that, don't we? Murucci back. Um, but Matty, Jesus, I'm really. I can, I can always remember. I took Amy our my our first date. I took Amy to um, designer outlet. We just had. Uh, is it Bella Italia? No, it's Pizza Express, isn't it? Pizza Express. Second day, I took her to York City versus Luton, and it was nil nil. And for the first time, we'd sat back. I got, I didn't, I didn't work at York City, but I got decent tickets. We sat, sat in sort of like the the bit where I used to work, and um, I was thinking, this is fucking terrible. And I'm shouting at my lads on a Saturday afternoon, who are local lads, for stuff that they're doing wrong, and it felt exactly, it felt exactly the same at the weekend. I said to Amy, we, because I, I said to Amy that I was going to take Ralphie to go watch um, my my old local team who've started back up and they're shit. He's proper like dog and duck standard. Um, if she needed to get some work done, and I didn't go in the end because I, I was home, and she didn't have any work, so I said, well, I was just going to watch York City on a laptop, and it was absolutely, absolutely atrocious. That was a bizarre conversation. Um, just horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Like the the second, I didn't watch any of the first half. It was literally half time when I came up, and it was fucking minging. No, like combinations, just poor crosses, poor passes. It was slow. The grass, the grass on the pitch looked a little bit too long. No, there was no slickness, and they they popped us off three or four times. And Jameson got man of the match, but. It, our man of match should have been there centre forward because he missed two absolute sitters. So yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. But I'll give it I'll give it a good twenty games and see where we're at. And hopefully after that we'll we'll have played each other the lads would have played with each other a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Wes York, Ashley Chambers. That um, that big lad that they had in midfield, the big black lad, he was class. Just getting it and giving it little pop-offs, little sprit, and he was spreading it out wide. We had absolutely nothing. Matty, what's your fetish player? Mine is... Uh, I don't know. Frank Kessie? <laughs> Probably Frank Kessie. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with you there a little bit with Watson. We'll give him until Christmas because obviously a new squad, but we should be. No, we're full-time. We've got... No, our budget will probably twice the size. Twice the size of theirs. And we're just fucking average... And it's alright, yeah, they've got a gel, they've got a gel. But at some point, it needs to fucking, it needs to gel. And I'm not entirely convinced. And he keeps talking about attacking, attacking, attacking. But I don't see how he's coaching them. And it was the same last year, he was talking about attacking, attacking, attacking. I never saw it as... I never saw it as us being dominant in games. And that we were unlucky, and he kept saying that we were we were wasting chances, and we went we maybe were to a certain extent, but I always thought that we could maybe 
he could maybe do his job a little bit better. Right, this is final time. Do we play Chenk in the final? Yeah. We'll play Chenk in the final, we'll play Parrot and put Gull on the bench. Right, we've been a bit... We're going to be a little bit... We're going to put Ozan in there. Because it's a final. Yeah, I imagine they are, but then you've... They, are, they maybe are a good set of lads, but they need to fucking play. It's interesting to see what he does with them. He, he, he kind of comes across that as an attacking style of coach, but I don't think he is, my. I don't think he is. I see, yeah, he has, mate. Yeah, you like to tweet, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't know, but my dad, my dad sent me it. My dad sent me it. Because um, I used to coach Gabby when he was little. It was the first, the first teams that he played for was my team. Yep, uh, Pickering. I, uh, to be fair, I was going to text, oh shit, I was going to text Jason today saying, um, wish Gabby, because Gabby's not on, like, social media or anything, he keeps him, I think, partially because that's his character and partially because of his dad, he keeps himself out of it a little bit. Um, I was going to text him saying, pass on, uh, my best wishes and, uh, I'll be, I'll be watching him a little bit. <laughs> Jordan Ivy, I know. Yeah. Oh shit. Is this going to be the end of the series that I lose a cup final to Jordan Ibe? Hopefully I'll bang a few goals in my, uh, at Edinburgh. Right, that was fucking horrendous, boys. Come on. Come on, this is this is the cup final. This this will just finish off the series if we lose the cup final. Sessignon. Come on. Slip it, slip it. Nice. I'll take one one now, to be honest. Bayes, parrot. Oh, he's offside, lads. He's offside. Gonna lose here. Get it, get it, get it. Fucking Jordan. Jordan Ibe is playing like fucking Messi at the moment. Sessignon. Ozan's oh, done well. Done very well. Parrot, lovely chest. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fucking hell. Show some passion. Have we still got that? No, I can't use it yet, Jace. Come on. Emerson. Cleared. I am going to make a change anyway. I'm going to put... Let's get Chunk off. I forgot that was playing Chunk. This is a break for them as well, isn't it? He's won the full length of the pitch. <laughs> yeah. 
pretty much my uh, It's amazing what you do when you try a little bit harder and they just like the last goal for West Ham I said to Amy it was down to um, uh, Serge Aurier just gave away the most stupidest free kick the guy had his back to the pitch he had the ball about a yard out from the sideline come on come on come on come on come on oh, for fuck's sake and um, he just pushed him over and it was the most pointless free kick ball came in cleared headed out and just like sometimes they don't understand how small margins are. If he hadn't done that stupid tackle, stupid push, and given away a free kick, they would have won the game. We're gonna get. To, they're gonna get two here. I can't believe we've lost the final as well, boys. Oh, it's offside. It's offside. I think since the Gallet, since the uh, Paris Saint Germain result, we've just. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! Fucking chance. Oh, we miss Big Nige, don't we? Game over, we've lost. We've fucking lost to the sick toss. Don't tell her, them, for fuck's sake. What a horrendous way to finish the season and the series. Mission Schmanny. Just a bit. <laughs> we don't want to talk about horrid kids. It's bizarre. Two centre halves would be amazing, I suppose. Oh dear, Jordan fucking hype as well. Look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. The resurgence of Big Besiktas. Alright, we'll play this last game. Then it'll be stream over and then I'll probably do, I don't know when it'll be, I'll probably do a recap video at the end of Probably sometime, maybe next week. Do my bit of head on series. Hey, Paul. Hey, Matty. Busy day at work. Oh, we've had a... We've had a tough one, buddy. The PSG was a killer. Killed us off pretty early. We were 1-0. 1-0 in the second leg. Second, it was 1-1 first leg. We went 1-0 half-time. Um they had nothing they scored early on second half they had a header from a corner we cleared it off the line i think danzo kicked it or someone kicked it against danzo in the six yard box and it hit him and went in the most bizarre zone goal and then they scored in extra time 102 minutes with a center half who scored from about 30 yards and then they made it 3-1 in extra time when um Hakimi scored with his left foot and a volley from outside the area on his wrong foot. And then we lost the... We lost the invincible record and then we've lost the final. So it's been tough. So this is the last game. And I want to fucking win it. I've given Chenk a chance in the final and he killed me. They were the Paul. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, and then that last game, we've just just shit out, basically. It's like the Champions League had a, a bit of an effect on us. So, yeah, that was it, Paul. I just said about um, PSG. We, and then at 1-0, we scored in the second. So, it was 1-1 after the first leg. We scored early on, about the third minute. And we had three or four massive chances in the first half. 
and we were all over him. And then the second half, it was just completely different. They scored a lucky goal. Nothing happened. We went into extra time. I still felt confident in extra time, actually, because away goals counted as well. And, um, yeah, they, they scored two goals from outside the area. The centre half banged it in from Parrot. What a goal. Banged it in from 30 yards. And then Hakimi volley, left foot, opposite foot from 20 yards. Killed us off. He was. He was. I just thought he might do something. It'd be nice to finish it off. I think it was heart over head for that, for uh, Cheng. Just score, just score a big goal. But I think my uh, my head went when uh, we lost the Champions League game. Talisa's getting sent off, boys. Fucking Jesus. Taliso, we, we struggled with that box to box as well. Taliso never really moved us on as much as I wanted to. Be fair to Marucci, Marucci has been absolutely amazing, but I think ha the loss of Haaland. In hindsight, I should have just kept Haaland, but I tried to keep the series as natural as possible. And if we were keeping in line with the series, Haaland didn't want to sign a deal. He had one year left and we got offered 80 million. So I think in business terms, it was the right idea to do. So that's why I did it. Marucci, because otherwise he'd have been leaving on a free this year. Parrot. Oh, I was not gone in. <laughs> Just to clear the, them two goals were horrible. Taliso's just not done. He's probably done better than what we had. Oh, how's that not gone in? But we're league champions again. The best thing is, Paul, as well, um, Galatasaray's manager, Faith Terum, is retiring. So it'd be good for uh, someone like you, Paul, to take over Galatasaray, I think, for a couple of years. Nigel's injured. He got injured after there. He's got off the boil a bit. He got injured after we'd, we'd won the league and got knocked out of Champions League. And they've given me 11 million to spend as well, Paul. So, if there was more... If, if this was a month ago, I'd be resigning as manager of Fenerbahce and taking over as Galatasaray. If I didn't have so much to do in York City as well, we'd have done it. I'd have, I'd have resigned and applied for the Galatasaray manager's job. Which would have been a good way to finish the series. Oh, Marucci had a chance. Right, let's get Chenk on. A bit too fun on. Yeah, he was around Erdem. Erdem was around for a little bit, and then he disappeared just to show his face. There we go, 1 0. Final game of the season, the series. There's no Champions League at the end of it, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, he's, he's been a little bit quiet this season, Bayez. It probably needed a tactical change. But we've had a decent season at Marucci there. And if if we were carrying on this series and Haaland had one year left, didn't want to sign, 
And we got F at 80 million. You, you have to take it, don't you? You have to take it. We've won the league. 93 points. One defeat. We've conceded 10 goals as well. Look at that. 10 goals. That is true. I think that's the, the least I've ever conceded. 10 goals? I think that's good going, that, boys. Especially in March, we considered one, three, five, six. That's fucking outstanding. Ten goals conceded, I'll take that. Uh, no, Paul, I don't think so, buddy. I think I'm going to have a bit of time off. The whole streaming scenario has not been great because now I'm streaming in Ralphie's bedroom, Ralphie's in Amy's bed, and our, Amy's bed, our bed, and it's just not quite worked. It's shit for Amy, so I'm going to be streaming downstairs, I think, in the living room. I'm going to have to take my PC and stuff downstairs, so. I think I need a couple of weeks off to um, decide how I'm going to do it, how it's going to work. And I might do a, might do a few test streams. Probably won't be a, well, it might be a Sunday night. We'll see. It won't be next Sunday. It'll probably be the Sunday after. I might do a little stream with maybe York City or something. Um, just see how it works downstairs ahead of FM21. Um, but yeah, it's not worked. It's shit for Amy because she's now either downstairs and she likes to be in bed for so like 10 o'clock. Um, and obviously I'm in Ralphie's bedroom. He can't be in here when I'm streaming. So I need to think of a, sol a solution that works better. Obviously in the old house I had my I had my, my room, which we don't have. Like, Ru Ralphie's room is massive, but obviously I can't stream with lights on and me talking and shouting when he's in bed. So I need to... Um, Need to figure it out, and the, the decision that I came up to was taking stuff downstairs and streaming in the living room, which is not ideal, but it's it would be a it would be a long term solution. Um, so that is it. I think, guys, next Sunday night there will be a Fenerbahce special where I'll go through the series, the save, the players, the money, um, and talk about it like that. But um. Thank you, you guys that have stayed till half past twelve to watch it. Um, sorry that we didn't get the the, the, the magical ending that we wanted. Um, thank you to everyone who's sort of like been here from pretty much day one with the series. Much appreciated. As I said, I'm quite sad to see this series go because it's brought not so much viewers to the channel, but it's brought you lads closer together. You lads that have been in the chat and in the sort of Discord. It's been Heavily based around Fenerbahce, um, you know, Erdem sending me a shirt and stuff. It's it's definitely been my favourite. How many? I've probably done ten or twelve series now on on YouTube, and this has been at least quite easily the most my most favourite and most memorable. So thank you very much. And um, yeah, it's not as if I'm dying. I'm going to be back in a couple of weeks because FM Twenty One's tied. The Sochi will not start until the full game is out. So we're looking at the end of November. Um, I'll try and post in Discord if I'm fancying a York City save, which I will do before the over the next couple of weeks. In two weeks' time, I'll try and put out a stream on YouTube downstairs, just trying the mic, the noise levels and stuff, just to have a little bit of a chill out. Um, maybe a couple of hours we'll just play it and see how we get on. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, there'll be a video next Sunday. I'll do a video and we'll 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 go in depth and. Look at all the players, the signings, the issues and everything that we had. Alright guys, 